It was starting. It was recording. Can you start from scratch, please? Don't let anyone in so you, until you I come out. You, you, you went live and then you stopped. No, we're not live yet. Not yet. No. You are just recording and then you're gonna. Uh, what are you doing? We're putting it live. That's why we need to change the ADP. Yeah, just you should tell. Text me, though. Whenever you are ready, you are ready. Text me. No, you go in the inside. We change it. Okay, sure. It says whenever you are ready, we are live. Well, as soon as I come out. <coughs> okay. You'll come. Seven years ago, we had uh, the National Heritage Awards at President Hotel. You still remember that? And um, before I, I look at the other issues, I, I, I remember you had a, a minimal task, but very big, uh, of introducing Kubaha Taibosh Davis. Um, a man of such a magnificent stature. And um, I remember your, your lyrical prowess, your language proficiency, the quality in which you introduced that great man. Do you still remember what he did there? Can, can you give us a brief reflection of that man? And, and may he so rest in peace. I mean, I think it's very important for us to talk a little about him since we are having this session. No, thank you, Life, for, for raising that important milestone in the history of our country. Because as you say, it was a day in which the National Heritage Council, together with uh, uh, Mandawi Metro, hosted the National Awards for the Heritage Center. And uh, 
on that day, we happen to have the honor of having Kubaha Taibush Davis as one of the guests, and he was to present one of the awards and make some few remarks. And uh, Kubaha comes from the Korana people, which are part and parcel of the Koisa community of the country. And it's a very important community of the country in the sense that when the colonists came here, the first people who had interaction with the colonists were the Khoisan people. And therefore their history and heritage uh, was relegated to the background because they happened to be the first victims. And uh, they were the first people who could uh, have a, a pain out of the gun and the gunpowder, the gun and the gun bullet. So the, 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 the canons of this world, uh, they blasted and destroyed their establishment as a people. And to me, it is important that we always mainstream their role and place in society because in our blood and in our bone, we are made out of the Khoi and Sun people as well. Because uh, through time, history and experience, and through intermarriages and through cultural connectivity amongst us, uh, we have always had these intermarriages and therefore we are blood relatives as, uh, as Africans. We are people of the same blood line. Uh, people often say Igas, yeah, Vietnamese, which simply means blood is thicker than water. So when I saw Kubaha in that function, I saw my own ancestor, yes. a living ancestor. Hence I said, in a few words, I said this is the son of the soul, a brother to the daughters of the land. It, it very interesting. I mean, how, how painful can it be to us as Africans um, to realize how long it took for the Khoisan to be recognized in the South African traditional setup. Um, the natives of this land, I mean, um, recognizing how foreigners have so much hold and control on our wealth, uh, on our property, um, have rights more than even the natives of this land. Um, what implication do you think uh, that has um, uh, on us as people? It's the irony of the history of the people who are in there. South Africa is probably uh, the first country to endure colonization, but it is the last country to taste freedom in the whole continent. That's an irony. So the Khoisan people were the first people to interface with the colonialists and they were the first victims in the South African context. But they are the last ones to get recognition in the post colonial and the post uh, you know, uh, uh, freedom, uh, <clears throat> the post apartheid era. Yeah. So it, it's, it's one of uh, the ironies that are distasteful and yeah. despicable. But uh, the good thing is that where, where we are now today, we have uh, crossed that bridge and they are on the brink of becoming part and parcel of the institutional traditional leadership. And uh, we ought to repair that, we ought to pay reparations uh, for them that uh, they don't feel liberated until they are part and parcel of these houses. Yeah. And, uh, and it's long overdue. And uh, the good thing is that the leadership finally uh, taken that decision. And, uh, and uh, I think let's look forward rather than looking backward and ensure that uh, we close ranks and we go back to those communities and ensure that we do what we are supposed to do over the past 26 years. I think that we are, that's what we want to do. You know, I'm going to take advantage. We're supposed to have just a, a big brief chat, but I'm going to take advantage of your wisdom. Um, as a program director today, we, we, we don't take you just as a facilitator of discussions, but we are looking at your wisdom and insight and how it will help you know, um, the engagements and the subsequent outcomes of our, of our dialogue. Um, if you look at heritage, heritage in its context, and the fact that uh, our relationship with the land, um, the, the soil that we cultivate, agricultural systems, mm -hmm. that today we are told that we are not good in agriculture and, and other people are better than us. And this is how we survive over the years. Um, Africans are very religious people. It is now their heritage, even if uh, people can contextualize it otherwise. The way we worship, the way we see things. Um, 
our languages, 11, 11 official languages in South Africa, and even more. I mean, if you, if you can actually look at South African context, to Tital, what we call to Tital, and all these things, the way the, the fiber of the South African society is, uh, is structured. Um, what, is your, what is your view about this day that we are celebrating? Although in South Africa it's the 24th, but we know the entire month is actually heritage. What is your, 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 your thinking about heritage in this context? Heritage is one of the most important things in any nation. Because the nations are anchored around their own heritage. And heritage is the center stone of a culture. And the culture of the people is the design of their living. And therefore, when you understand your design of living, is the framework in which directs uh, how you carry your life. And therefore, if you place heritage in the margins of society, you are doing injustice to your own people. In other words, you have a constitution that suffocates those people. Even if the constitution is celebrated by the world, yeah. but in the home front, that constitution does not talk to the hearts and minds of people. Yeah. Because it is, a, it is a document that does not reflect their design. Constitutions should be embedded on culture, and constitutions should be pregnant with heritage for them to be systematic and for them to work like child yeah. in any given nation. So that's what I would put it. So what we need to do is to mainstream heritage in the South African landscape. Yeah. And it is important, therefore, that heritage can be used in the context of social transformation. So that heritage must be found in the syllabus and the culture, so that the children can know their history, their heritage and culture, yeah. in order for them to be, to be amongst the best candidates in the world. Because when you base everything that you do on what you are, you are likely to be very excellent in what you do. If you do mathematics, it's a suit. Yeah. You are likely to do best than when you do mathematics and English. Yeah. So you can compete with anyone else in the world. But when you do something, in, in, a, in, a, in a foreign language or in a language that is not your mother tongue, yeah. you are likely to scratch your head or to break your jaws yeah. uh, because you can't be proficient in the fluent. That's why the, 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 the nations that succeed in the world, everything they do, they do it in accordance with their culture. China, Chinese, everything they do, they do it in a Chinese way. Indians, everything they do, they do it in a in Indian way. Guess where they are? They are superpowers today. In order for Africa to become a, the next superpower, yeah. to become a continent that gets the recognition that it deserves, we ought to change our system and place the heritage at the center of our administration and the, the, national, the management of the national culture. Wow. You see, it reminds me of uh, Professor Guji Wati. Mm. Um, he said, if you know your language, <coughs> Are good, you are better. But if you know other languages, that is what we call it. Yeah. So, although we have had it difficult in South Africa, but we still are able to do so well in, in different languages. And, and we still know better our language, we understand our language, we celebrate it, we are very particular with it. Look, um, I want to, I want to you know, uh, zoom into you. I want to understand. How long it took you? I mean, to be to be where you are. I was going through your profile, and I say yes. yes. Um, this is what other people achieve in a whole lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I look at you. Um, you still have many years in front of you, and, and I hope that um, you know the world and the, the earth grants you the opportunity to live because we need people like you. How long it took you? I mean, from from. From uh, 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 Cape Town University uh, to your many leadership qualities to Parliament to uh, National House of Traditional Leaders to many entities, pubs, Eastern Cape. That is something that people achieve in their whole lifetime, and other people do not achieve anything of that nature. How, did, how long it took you and, and how did it happen? Well, I think it's about passion and the love of what uh, you are as a person. When I say 
what I am is that I understand myself that I'm a product of good, I'm a product of about, I'm a product of Africanity, and I'm a product of that African culture and heritage. And that love was impacted upon me by my parents, by the community, because I'm a child of the community. And, um, and uh, it, is, it is that consolidation of, of that love and the consistency in expressing that love to others and learning from others wow. to, to, to actually grow better and develop better in order to engender further better for the betterment of society. And it, for me, it, it's not a struggle. It's a life yeah. and it's a lifestyle. It's a way of living. It's a way of living. So my lifestyle is yeah. about being myself, being yeah. African. Yeah. Not trying to be something that I will never be even yeah. if I wanted to. Yeah. You are sticking to your guts yeah. and ensuring that you keep on polishing and boning uh, you know, what, you, what you do. So going to university has also helped me to systematize. Because we understand that the education system that we, 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 we are fed with is it's colonial education. But you use that colonial education to get the master of art in what you are in order to express better. Even if you don't believe in the Quran or Bible, read the Bible in order to understand what is the Bible is about. So that you can even better articulate it, even better than those who subscribe to it. So for me, it's very important that you understand the thinking of the European and to learn the best out of them, but also understand what is it that makes them not to like you or dislike you so that then you can be able to permeate and navigate a way out to outsmart and outmaneuver them in different contexts of life. So that uh, if I was an engineer, I would be having the dream of ensuring that there's a, there's a vehicle that is produced in Africa. But I'm not an engineer, I'm a cultural practitioner. So my idea is that Africa should be one one day. It should have a single African language, working language, language for working beings. We should have our own business language as Africans, even if it's Swahili. Let it be studied in each and every primary and every junior secondary school. So that with language, because language is pregnant with culture, and the culture of Africans is basically a common culture in the sense that there are common denominators. The commonalities, we can capitalize on them to further cement the unity that is required amongst us, so that we don't remain divided. Well, uh, I am not going to press you harder than this. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. I know you are going to do justice on our program. I've seen many interesting people on the program. Um, I don't know if you want to uh, make a reflection. I've seen uh, the chairperson. No, I just want to, 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 to express my sincere gratitude to the honorable speaker, the uh, honorable uh, Sifuwa for having extended an invitation to me to come here. And I could not miss this for once. It was a very important thing in the sense that the free state here is leading by example. Yeah. Great things in history, game changers, yeah. always begin with the free state. Yeah. This province is the first province to have a dialogue on this nature. It has never been done in 26 years. But on the 30th of September, 2020, wow. boom, wow. the free state takes a decision to do this. This becomes a milestone, an unprecedented one. Wow. And uh, the whole country will come back to the center of the nation to come and benchmark on how Free State did it. If they did it, why can't I did it? I uh, know. I can tell you um, <laughs> where we are, um, it is something that you will never take life. Thank you very much, Mr. Mkizwa. Thank you, life. Thank, Thank you for the opportunity. Cheers, sir. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. We won't be able to keep on it. Okay.
Dumelang. Batoba Olu Dumelang. Qui fait tout ce fait là, tout le monde dit, ce qu'il y a dans la vie, je connais. Mais qu'est-ce que ça fait là, programme est en train de start shortly. Our program director is just uh, uh, out for two, three minutes, and then uh, when he comes back, the program will start. Thank you very much.
Okay. Dumelan Bakhaizu. Dumelan Barena. Good morning. Good morning to all of you uh, this morning. My name is Zolani Mkiva. I'm going to be the facilitator of the program on this very important historic day in the country as we have gathered right in the center of our nation uh, in the Free State Province. As we commence with this official program, I'm going to invite uh, Re Hendrik Mini to come forward uh, to open this gathering with a word of prayer. Uh, can you kindly migrate to the microphone, uh, Remini, to give us an opening prayer? Good morning, Dumelang, Huyemore, Molein. Before we start with prayer, I just want to share one verse in the Bible with you. It's in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Book I appeal ya Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, but Kiratau Kalaka, verse 1, leave verse 2. Ka English, I exhort, therefore, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks to be made for all men. Verse 2, which is very important and which fits in properly with this event and this session called by the Honorable Speaker, that we pray for kings and for all that are in authority. We pray for kings, and we pray for all those who are in authority. Whether it's the president of South Africa, whether it's the premier of the province, or whether it's the speaker of legislature, whether it's the mayor of a local municipality, whether it's a king and traditional leaders. The Bible says we need to pray for all of those who are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good, verse 3 says, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So we are going to pray so that we can live a peaceable life in South Africa. We can live a peaceable life where we are leading we can live a peaceable life where we are staying and where we are residing. Can we close our eyes as we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the day that the Lord has made. This is indeed a day that the Lord has made. And we also pray that you bless this event. Bless everybody who are here. We pray that God's grace prevail on them. God's grace be upon them. That is our prayer that we can pray for kings who are here. We pray for leadership who are here. We pray for our embassies. We pray for the speaker. We pray for the chief whip, the deputy chief whip, and we pray for all members of provincial legislature. We ask that, Father, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, 
and in the name of God, the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. And we all say amen. amen. Thank you for the opportunity. Amen. Without further ado, I'm now going to invite the Honorable MP Buti to come forward and to address us and deliver a welcoming address on this very important occasion. Can we give her a hand as she is coming forward? Hey. Uh, good morning, everybody. Dubelanka uh, Ophela, Huyamora. My name is uh, Sarah Moleleki. I'm the member of the legislature uh, as a chief whip and also the chairperson of infrastructure uh, in the legislature. Uh, honorable Speaker, honorable members, the chief whip. Morena Emuhulu Mota, members of the executive, uh, Matthew, um, uh, and Kang Kangisa, uh, MEC Tate, Honorable Member of the Legislature of Majake, Honorable Lituka, Honorable uh, Smith, House of Traditional Leaders, uh, the Chairperson um, Fumadi, how Muraka and and uh, distinguished guest, you are all welcome. We wish to welcome all of you at the August event of celebrating Heritage Month under the theme Traditional Leadership and its role in the Free State Province in advancing democracy. You are called here today to better the clarity, clarify the role played by all stakeholders in deepening and uh, advancing democracy in our society. This event takes place at a time when our country is faced with many challenges which needs our collective efforts in uh, finding a lasting solution. The immediate ones being the negative effect of COVID-19, which continues to affect our people. The sudden spike in gender-based violence, human trafficking is a cause for concern. Please feel at home and free to participate in this event. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Honorable Sarah Muleleki. Sorry for that uh, glitch. Uh, I was not given the heads of arguments properly for that item. Um, this is a very special day today, and I would like all of us to be quite relaxed because we are making history as the Free State. And if I was a good singer, I was going to even ask that at this point we can even sing a song. And I think the Free State has one of the most popular songs that we have produced for our society. It's just that I cannot lead it, but I know it. I can only back it when somebody else is leading it. Da tente gere. Da tente gere. Era Da tente kere, da tente kere, 
very much thank you very much let's give a big round of applause you know once I hear that song I can now feel that we have sung the provincial anthem of the free state Hark free start <laughs> uh, no thank you very much indeed this is a very special day and I'm not saying because I'm invited to come here uh, to do the program directing this event is the first of its kind in the country. There's not a single legislature nor a house that has met before in this manner. I think you, you need to give yourselves a big round of applause. I know that the people of the Free State are very modest, but this province always surprises us by making history and very much unprecedented events of this magnitude. You know that once upon a time in 1912, the leaders of this country gathered here to establish one of the formidable formations which was to change this li the, the, the life of this country for the better in terms of preparing a better future for its own people. That is when the ANC was founded. And the people were in attendance again were the leaders of our society Traditional leaders were there, our kings and queens were there in present, in this space, in this province, at a very difficult time in the history of our country. Today we are meeting here, and I'm really thrilled, sincerely, that the Honorable Speaker, together with the members of the legislature, have taken this revolutionary decision to host this meeting because I've always believed that uh, traditional leaders have a role to play in the management of the national question. In fact, when the public representatives meet in the legislature to consider bills, to consider a number of policy imperatives, they ought to think that for those policy imperatives that resonate with the institution of traditional leadership and rural communities, ought to be seen by traditional leaders so that they can themselves apply themselves on those pieces of legislation before they get the final signature, either of the premier or the president. Because it is important that we make laws that do not contradict our design of living. Because laws and lawmaking must be embedded in a culture of a people. So, Speaker, I'm speaking off the cuff and I speak from my heart as I speak today because you have made history. And I think the country going forward must come back to this center of the nation to benchmark with what we have done. Because what we, are, what we have done must be emulated across the length and the breadth of the country. But without preempting what you are, we are going to say today, as you will be expected to deliver a keynote address to us, allow me to acknowledge uh, the presence of Murena Emuhulumota who has graced us uh, with his presence. And I believe that for him to lead the leadership of this country, uh, particularly in this province, he does not only represent his people, he represents all the cultural communities of South Africa with his presence here today. Let's give him a warm welcome as he is present here. <laughs> and of course, I know that the leadership of the ANC and the leadership of the legislature is very modest and it will allow me that before I acknowledge the ANC leadership in the legislature, they must allow me for today to mainstream the acknowledgement 
of the house as led by Hoshikad G. Moroka, who is the chairperson of the provincial house of traditional leaders. And again, three state amongst many provinces is the only province that is led by a woman from a point of view of houses of traditional leaders. So, Member Roca, we, 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 we want to salute you for your bravery. We want to salute you for your brilliance, for leading from the front and for demonstrating that this notion that women don't play a leading role in an African society is a foreign notion. Women have always played a leading role, particularly in the institution of traditional leadership. In fact, the ANC draws strength from the wisdom of our Africanity by ensuring that it leads all other political formation by ensuring that women are in the front line. It is the ANC and ANC alone in the country that makes sure that the 50-50 ratio applies, whether in its own structures as well as in the government structures. And therefore, um, I really salute the leadership of the Free State uh, in all its facets in terms of ensuring that women are in the front line. Let me, in the same breath, acknowledge the members of the House in this province, but also the leaders who have come from different traditional councils to be part and parcel of this very important day. Your presence is recognized and it is acknowledged and we are looking forward to your meaningful contribution in this dialogue. This dialogue will go down in the annals of history as a game changer. At this point, let me equally acknowledge you, Speaker, together with the colleagues who are here present, who are members of the provincial legislature. And I believe that you have invited the entire uh, membership of the provincial legislature to be here. That means that the ruling party or the governing party is here, as well as the opposition parties are expected to be here. We acknowledge their presence, and we acknowledge those that we have not yet arrived, whom we think that they will be coming to attend this very important day. Let me also acknowledge the members of the executive committee, the MECs that are present here, that have already been acknowledged and be singled out by Honorable Muleleki when she was delivering her welcoming address. Um, ladies and gentlemen, your highnesses, your majesties, at this point, let me invite the honorable speaker, honorable N.B. Sifuba, to come forward to deliver a keynote address. Before this event began, there's a gentleman by the name of Life, I believe he's a spokesperson uh, of the legislature. He, he asked me a question there with regards to one of my poems, which I had delivered some time back when I was still quite young, I think it was 20 or 25 years ago, because I started performing at the age of nine in 1981 publicly. So let me just perform one of those poems, but I will move from a very low tone because I am introducing a woman who is a leader, who is a lady leader. I'm not sure whether you know this concept of lady leader, but if you don't know, allow me to deliver this poem as I introduce him, her. I did not take time to go to Google in order to Google her profile, but I think the summation that is entailed in this poem, which I have used to introduce leaders in this country, uh, will be quite relevant. The poem is entitled, Son of the Soil. I am the son of the soil a brother to the daughters of the land. I do not have perfumed lips, but I can speak the truth. I do not have cat eyes, but I can see the true colors of my continent. I do not have a dog nose, but I can smell and distinguish between carbon monoxide and oxygen. I do not have donkey ears, but I can hear what makes sense and what is a nuisance. I am the son of the soil, a brother to the daughters of the land. I may not have a big heart, but I do have passion and love for my people. Passion for my country, passion for my continent, and passion for the world over. I may not have hard hands, but
but I can do my little bit and deliver my people from shame. Hatically, I am the son of the soil. Rutically, I am the brother to the daughters of the land. I am the stem of our society. I am the calyx of consciousness. I am the corolla of people's cause. I am the anther of amicable solutions. I am the pistil of peace. Yes, I am the son of the soil, a brother to the daughters of the land. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the speaker of the legislature. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Ndate Zolani Mkiva, the program director. You know, when the team that was responsible to put together this gathering, when they proposed that they think the suitable person who can help us to direct this program is Mr. Zolanim Kiva. I said, without a doubt, I said, please hunt him down and bring him here to be part of us. Because we know that if we are talking about traditional leaders and your name immediately clicks and fit well with that concept, so thank you very much that you are here to be part of us, to direct this program, and also witness what we, we are doing here and what we think we want to achieve. But what about Kikama Dima Abi Hore, Kajen Lena, Kahwedia September. Eri bizang huriki kwedi ya ya heritage. Hore kito bua lelo na kase hoa. Iling legacy. Eri pumaning rina lion. Kaba kala past yaruna mona Africa bora. Eh, maybe in the entire. African continent, who depend on her na naha linaha mona in the African continent hore in a colonized zwe kina haifin rona resetzi li legacy ya English eri bizang se hoa hobani rile. Rabba colonized, and in the process, we were forced. Horeri khone ho shifta, butong baro na butabeng baro na. Ripumane seri khona ho communicate akase khowa. Ona zole je hari seri defender. Ritsire leza or riskara tuwa se khwengse seri laka ori he e. Haring kabua di poza rona harito kona hutoa na hobani jingad mariki kola hore hosa huaskawa yetsa hala ntwe uya colonization ngabe rile ra ifuma na zila yao riri kona hubuwa zwale kabatu ba Afrika bora. Thank you, Program Director. The Honorable Sisin Dombela, who indicated that she will be late because of other commitments that she could not postpone. Murena Emuhulu Murena Mota, Chairperson of the House of Traditional Leaders in the Free States, Free State Jose Hadi Muroka, members of the House of Traditional Leaders in the province. Chairperson of Chairpersons of Committees of the Legislature in Absentia. I'm not going to read what is here. The Chief Whip of the Legislature. 
Honorable Vusi Chabalala, Honorable Emissis that are with us, Honorable MC Pulwana, Honorable MC Nangisa, Honorable MC Siu, Honorable Mampudi Mahwe, members of the legislature that are here today, Chairperson of the South African Local Government Association in the Free State, Councillor Olim Lamleli, the representatives of the chapter nine and 10 institutions present here today. Our guests and everybody who is here, good morning and thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not intend to make a long address because the intention is to allow enough time and space for the participants who are traditional leaders and their delegates to be able to get enough time to debate and interact meaningfully so that at the end of the day, we can achieve the purpose of this gathering. There is no doubt that many of us understand the extent of privilege we are presented with by sharing a platform with all of you. That is why we have decided that in building from the gains of this year's dialogue, we will preserve it as an annual event. So instead of a once-off reflection, next year we'll be following up on the progress made, because most importantly, whatever we are going to say here today, we must be able to put it into implementation so that we then, when we come and meet here again, we take stock of what is it that we have done and where were the uh, challenges and how do we move forward so that we can achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve as a province. We are meeting here on a very critical arrangement because traditional leadership and all matters surrounding it remain central to the livelihood of many South Africans. This traditional leadership dialogue is a groundbreaking episode in the process of developing provincial legislation. It is an occurrence that cannot and must not be taken lightly because in doing so, we will be disrespectful to who we are as a people. I want to emphasize this point, that any discussion relating to traditional leadership and its role within our communities must be linked to constitutional provisions. Equally, these discussions must be linked to the same mandate given to the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform in terms of redistribution, restitution, development, and security tenure. It is therefore important to start by indicating that we convene here in order to realize the ideals of our constitution. Chapter 12 of the South African Constitution of 1996, section 212, subsection 2, is unequivocal on this matter. And subse subsection 2A defines the role of traditional leaders as to deal with matters relating to traditional leadership the role of traditional leaders, customary law, and customs of communities observing a system of customary law. Subsection 2B, national legislation may establish a council of traditional leaders. After 1994, South Africa became part of the international law and began to ratify many international conventions. Resulting from that breakthrough, the Constitution of the Republic introduced Section 232, 
to ensure that customary, law, customary international law becomes a law in the Republic and is consistent with the Constitution or our Act of Parliament. The September month in South Africa is earmarked to celebrate our heritage. Rikitika Buchaba Baruna Kufanele Ukubasizine Gobundu Betu Goguba Uba Uba Asenzinjalo Siza Fumana Ukuti Isizwe Setu Sia Chavalala Any nation that does not respect and treasure their heritage and culture will be doomed. We need to go back to the drawing board and be able to say, where did we go wrong? What do we do moving forward? And section 235 is explicit in this regard in acknowledging self-determination of various cultural groups across the country. This is how the Constitution puts it, and I quote, open quote, the right of the South African people as a whole to self-determination as manifested in this Constitution does not preclude within the framework of this right recognition of the notion of the right of self-determination of many community sharing a common cultural and language heritage within the territorial entity in the Republic or in any other way determined by the national legislation. At the core of the discussions will be on moral regeneration. Just as all other sectors and groups are immersed with the same task, especially the churches, Traditional leaders must have a role to play. We are here to seek help from traditional leaders towards inculcating the good values of ethical leadership in our society. That young man who becomes a gender-based violence uh, offender started by being a young boy coming into a society growing up that boy child needs to be taken care of and we trust and have confidence in our traditional leaders to be able to do that because if we are going to deal with the issue of gender-based violence we must be able to go back and check what makes this person to grow up and be what they are and i think that the traditional leaders are well placed in our societies to be able to instill and be able to promote that moral regeneration that is going to help us to have young people growing up and know what is it to be responsible citizens within our communities. All of us can see that what is currently happening in our country and the direction it is taking. It is not a good thing at all. Unless morality becomes the basis of our way of living, corruption, gender-based violence, crime, and other ills will become our way of living. We have to decide, do we want that? We are here because we do not agree. That is not what we want. Our people deserve better. We also need to focus on the youth, how our children are raised, as I said, socialized, cultured. The matter of a boy child in the development of society and the reviews of women about the fear they have around men is difficult to accept. Women cannot work freely on the streets. They cannot go wherever they want to because there might be somebody who is ready to take that woman 
and kill them. We cannot accept that crime has become the nature of our society and that our daily news report is littered by traumatic occurrences. Something is not right and definitely something has to be done. More and more opportunities exist in terms of access to education than in 1994. Yet more and more of our people are excluded. And, 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 and you would know, program director, that our modest province is one of those that are excelling in that regard. That is why I was referring to MEC education as Mampudi. Hane Mampudi King Kaskos. I've been here for, for, for more than 30 years. The Kawekas. Going to Ketwangue. Hey, hey. Okay, thank you very much. What kind of support is given to rural communities to empower our people so that the future traditional councils are inherited by empowered leaders and communities? What kind of backlogs are there in terms of the current legislative regime? This will then lead us to the role of local, provincial, and national government in meeting the provisions of the Constitution in terms of provision of basic services to all our people. In advancing the ideals of the Constitution, I wish to reiterate the message I sent out on the Heritage Day, which I believe is critical to be carried out by all of us. And in that message, I was reminding our people, our people to say, heritage is about ourselves, our being, and our origin. Heritage is about self-love. Heritage is about agriculture, the soil we cultivate, our livestock and poultry, the food we grow, and the life we sustain. Heritage is longevity. Heritage is about religion, how we worship, our faith, beliefs, and divinity. Heritage is devotion. Heritage is about resistance, our defense attributes, our response to aggression, our victory and steadfastness. Heritage is sacrifice. Heritage is about our birthright, our craftsmanship, about our architectural prowess, value of naturality and pre preservation of humanity. And heritage is history. Heritage is about our social environment, the language we speak, aboriginalities, land, water, and the air we breathe. Heritage is culture. Heritage is, a, is about tradition, our customary systems, institutional integrity, internationalism, and continental unity. Heritage is general mission, generational mission, sorry. Heritage is about the free state provinces, South Africa and our continent. We must protect it with everything that we have. We must protect it to the very, and even if it, if, even if it means we must first perish as a people, then our remains can nourish the, so, can nourish the soil that the next generation will inherit. In conclusion, program director, let us all enjoy this session. We are looking forward to learning from you. We are looking forward to come out of this gathering with a program that is going to take us forward as the province, working together with our traditional leaders and our traditional councils. Be free and share your thoughts with that, with us. I thank you very much.
let's give the honorable speaker another big round of applause. That speech will go down in history again, and it will be a point of reference, because what we have presented here today is a very good case study, not only for the legislature, but for the institution of traditional leadership in the country and in the continent. Because many countries in Africa are coming to South Africa to learn on how we have managed to make this republic a republic of a special type. And it is a republic of a special type because it is a republic that is considerate of an institution of traditional leadership that was there before there was any other form of governance wherein this institution was the sole governance which was found here by the colonialists and they failed to wipe it out of its existence. And therefore we pride ourselves with this institution of traditional leadership. And uh, what makes the ANC to be a cut above the rest is the fact that in its bloodline, in its vessels, uh, it has got the touch of the institution of traditional leadership. And I often say that it was the warriors, royal-blooded warriors, who fought in the wars of dispossession and in the wars of resistance. So to us, it was not just a mere accident or a coincidence that the first president of a post-colonial South Africa was also a royal-blooded son of Africa in Nelson Mandela, who comes from Tembulu. And therefore, whether one likes it or not, royalty and traditional leadership will always be part and parcel of the fiber of the governance of this country. And our democracy is unique in the sense that it is not just a Western-inclined democracy. This is, West, this is African democracy in practice. What you are doing today is a clear manifestation and demonstration of our African democracy. No one has what we have. And therefore, Speaker, again, I cannot express myself enough to appreciate what we have done for the country. And um, at this point, I have been told by the management of the podium that I must uh, recall Mayor Sarah Muleleki to come back. I'm not recalling you out of the legislature. <laughs> I'm recalling you <laughs> to come back uh, this side uh, to receive uh, our appreciation for the speech that you made in welcoming us here. We've got a token ap of appreciation. We'll do them one by one. Let's, let's show love to Mesara. <laughs> uh, speaker, allow me, by virtue of the powers vested in me, to also recall you to come in the front to, to receive as well some blessings and love from the people of the province and the people of the country. These are the only gifts that, as traditional leaders, we can allow you not to declare them. <laughs> you go there, speaker. We will now invite uh, His Royal Highness uh, Murena Emuhulu Motia to give us uh, his message on this day. And uh, I would ask that we all rise as uh, His Royal Highness is coming forward to, to deliver his address on this important day. Kialewa uh, Program Director and Adam Kiva. Kialewa He Musawa Free Starter Kahome Mamarena 
ho tla kopano nya mofuto ona o jena ke dumedise wa mphato aka eh morena mre mo holo mo pedi morena wa ba kwena eh busikom ba hae ke ske ka nkana go engata ka ditumediso tse sendientswe re le boa holo bembaka eh wa ka mosebetsi ko monyane ha holo kwa ho refela eh muswa freestata e se ka re tsena tse tsa bua mona ke marena muswa freestata o dinkele hloho eh ha ne ke le strate nkwa ne ke tla re muswa di freestata o dinkele cop 2 eh ho ba ne jwale e na taba e tsa hala mona ke taba ya bo bedi ha e se ya boraro ho ba ne ho la ka ba le summit ya marena e la ka ya tswarwa e tswaretse tswaqwa mane e o di resolution 13 le ka jeng tsena ha di so pheta hale jwale ri potsa ho rena e betse tsa ka jeno tse ke di buang ka patse ga tsa di bua mo re le marena ke di nthotse tla etsa hala na ha re lahlele mmuso a gona matsoho ha re ga re tshepi mmuso empa ditaba tsa gona ge le serena di salla morao ha holo ge fihle ge bitso ho be le ditaba tse ka ge ntse na mo go kopana nteng e be taba tsa gona ho hang ha re tswa mona e ka re di lebetswe ke le boe hape le hore mmuso a free starter o nkile bo ikitla etso ba hore o bone marena ka tsohle tse ba ntse ba getse tsa tsona ha kana empa ga sa shota ho ba ne jwale tse dintsa dintho ha re na tsona ge le marena the truth of trade di a shota eh di office tsa marena ko e di ho shota fela ho e be maha di show a mashodu ha o fihla mono o go fihla office nya morena ko gona tsena motho aka ya ngofisi nya ka ona tsena aka ba re ke ofisi ya ke tsebe ke site ofisi mhlomo ya contract engwe e tlolukisa tse ka nete muswa free starter taba tsa marena ha ke re di amoheleng ka matswa mabedi ha ke re di shebeng ho bane tsena tse re di entsang ka jeno tse muswa free starter o go bitse itseng tsona mona ka jeno ke taba ba bohlokwa ha holo ke taba ba in a sense ya hore e tswe le sa tshaba sa gona pele ha se gona fela le mmuso o ntswe teletse tshaba tsena tse tse re dia teletse mpele e pele mmuso o na wa gona o go gatang o go tshetsang o go phokang ka mehla ke muso o go gatang empa tse dintsa dintho tsa gona ge le marena di salla mora o bembaka e se ka re tsena tse re tla di bua ka jeno di tla kopanywa le summit le le taba tsa summit ya nene tshwere tswaqwa di kopanywe e be package e one e tla etsa hore re bona hale ho re bogena bo teng ka ga free starter bogena bo ya phela ka ga free starter ho bana ha ka ga etsa dipapiso tse ke sa batleng ho di etsa provinceng e re ka ntlena ho gona bogena ba teng bo nketse ho di maholo empa motho wa ipotsa ho gona ho baneng ha gona ge le free starter muso wa gona o o sa batle ho re o nkele magena cop 2 empa o ntsoetsa tsena tso di etsang ka di chalete tsa tsa di tax payers tsena tse re kopantse mo eh ha re qeta ha re tswa mona e be loge tsena tse tsohle tse re di entse mona ka o fela tse re di buile mona muso ha wa di nka ka pa o di nkile muso bo khawana le tsona o iketse tsa tse dintse ka thoko ka mantswana bembaka ha ke gato senya eh mo ikaleleke ya lebo Thank you.
Thank you very much. You may be seated. Uh, we would like to invite uh, the Honorable MEC Nangisa to come forward and present uh, His Royal Highness with uh, a token of appreciation. Thank you for that. Cheers. Thank you. I, I can't hear you. Can I hear you more? <laughs> Thank you so much. I had expected you to say that when he came forward, but it's fine. You have done it twice, which we have covered for the first part as well. <laughs> um, at this point, uh, I'm going to invite Ndate um, Tonka Modise, who is the senior legal officer representing the South African Human Rights Commission, to come and uh, do a short uh, speech. I think it's important that we have them in this program because one of the things that we ought to understand clearly is the Bill of Rights. As traditional leaders, we have to understand that because sometimes we take these matters uh, for granted and uh, we we use common sense in dealing with certain issues uh, in our communities. I know that our constitution uh, is said to be the best in the world, but somewhere, somehow, there are gaps. So it's important that whenever we have an opportunity like this, uh, we get uh, to, 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 to be given an understanding, particularly of the Bill of Rights and other rights, women's rights, children's rights, things like that, because our culture is very firm on the values of Ubuntu. And I think the values of Ubuntu do not contradict the Bill of Rights. Um, Klegas, can you please come forward and address us uh, on behalf of the South African Human Rights Commission? Let's give him a warm welcome. Morning, Jumelang, Kidimedisa Marena Yosi, Baita Pilibaruna, Basam Free State Provincial Legislature, Kidimedisa Batubose, Bam Nemwe Mona, Joleka, the guests, the Bitolaka Ki Tunuko, Jacob Modise, Ki Shalifapen Ladi to Kelotabu to South African Human Rights Commission. We are based here in Bloemfontein, uh, Camo 18 Kalna Street. I am bringing you greetings from our provincial manager, Ndade Keswa. He was supposed to be here, however, there was a funeral, yeah, family, so he had to attend to that. I feel very much honored this morning, really, that the South African Human Rights Commission has been invited to come and give a brief presentation on our role and just try to articulate the role of traditional leaders, you know, within the constitutional context. I wanted to quote a bit from what Mayor Sifuba said, uh, Honorable Sifuba, regarding the security of China, uh, more especially with people who come, you know, from the farms, who normally stayed in the farms for many, many years and through you know, the process of time, then they acquire livestock and other things. And when a new owner comes and buys a farm, uh, the new owner realizes that, yo, these guys have you know, acquired so much livestock, and therefore you know, they are a threat to his grazing land and all that, and they start rationing uh, the number of livestock of our people, and they take it and, and, and they create a lot of obstacles for them. Uh, so that they cannot farm uh, effectively. We receive such complaints. I, I, I was just picking up on that, uh, Honorable Sifuba, just to give a brief you know, indication of what our people are going through. And, and you'll realize that at, at some point, our people would uh, be discouraged to some extent, and then they'll leave farming, 
and then they will move out of the farms, go to the townships, and, and they will stay perhaps with you know, some of their relatives in the backyard, and after some time, uh, the house will be too small for them, and then they will go to an informal settlement you know, and squat there, and that really creates a very big problem for you know, our provincial government of human settlement and our municipalities regarding people who are staying you know, in informal settlements, whereby you know, rise to water, sanitation, electricity, and you know, security of, 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 of life of human beings are really being challenged. And that places you know, a very big challenge over our government, how they manage the mushrooming squatter camps, not only you know, around towns, but also in areas like you know, your, uh, when you go to Futsanyani, now, I was just introducing this to, to show the magnitude of challenges that our, our government is facing. And, and I can tell you, uh, uh, honorable members and, and, and our leaders here, that South African Human Rights Commission, it is a chapter nine institution uh, which is here to support constitutional democracy. We, we are, our role uh, was established in terms of section 181 of the Republic of, 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 of South Africa Constitution. Now the Constitution gives us a mandate to do the work that we are doing. And we also derive our, our mandate from Section 184 of the Constitution and also uh, South African Human Rights Commission Act. Act 40 of 2003 also gives us the, you know, the mandate to operate within. We also have an act uh, normally it's called Pepuda Promotion of Equality and Prevention of Unfair Discrimination Act 4 of 2000. It is also one of the legislations that gives us uh, you know, the mandate to deal with challenges that our people are facing, uh, challenges of discrimination and others. We also have your PAIA, your promotion of access to information and your promotion to Administrative Justice Act. Now, in terms of Section 184 of the Constitution, we, as the Human Rights Commission, we must promote and uh, propagate the promotion and respect for human rights and culture of human rights. Now, when you look at a lot of uh, historically, you know, previously black areas, you, you find that there is a lot of underdevelopment in those areas. And that is where you find a lot of complaints that are coming to our offices. And, and secondly, you find your your rural areas, the likes of Kwa Kwa and those areas where you find there's a lot of traditional leaders in those areas. You will find people moving from one land, you know, going to occupy a particular land. And therefore, there's always a conflict between the municipal authority or councillors and the challenges that, you know, traditional leaders are facing. And, and, and we need, you know, to find a balancing act to cooperatively make sure that these two leaders, you know, municipalities and, and our traditional leaders, find a way in making sure that the quality of life for our people are realized. I'm, I'm really grateful to Ndate, uh, our chairperson here, Ndate Mkiva. When, when you mentioned, you know, uh, chapter two uh, fundamental rights, uh, right to dignity, right to water, right to uh, security, right to education, right to uh, electricity, right to sanitation, all these rights, they can never be realized until we find a common ground to work together you know, be it the municipality or our, our traditional leaders and making sure that services are provided to our people to avoid situations where, you know, the injustice of the past, you know, our people being just left without water and sanitation, without anything else, are not, you know, uh, perpetuated by our government that is now, you know, current and by our traditional leaders. We need to find a common ground to advance, you know, the rights of our people. We understand, uh, as the Constitution states, and I'm going to read briefly here, section 27 of uh, the Constitution, I'm going to read subsection two of it. It says, the state must take reasonable legislative and other measures within its available resources to achieve progressive realization of each of these rights. Now, when we speak about progressive realization, we understand that you know, uh, in, in the, 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 the former homeless areas and, and the townships, infrastructure is really uh, old and aging, and, and, and you find that, you know, when uh, townships are expanding and, and, and therefore people are not paying services and things like that, and therefore municipalities, they, they become under serious financial distress. 
But we are saying as the commission, our role is to make sure that we assist, you know, government institutions in realizing that, you know, our people get the quality of life that they deserve. We, we cannot, in the 25 years of, of, of democracy, really st stay in situations where our people really are still complaining about issues of water, issues of, you know, flush toilets and all that, taking into consideration the challenges that we have of, you know, scarcity of water in our country. We must understand that when we go back to our people and the people of South Africa and report to them that, you know, the rights that they are entitled in terms of the constitution, they will be realized, but it, it must be a progressive movement and, and people need to see progress, you know, in, in, in all these things that have been uh, provided to them. Now, I also want to further say, um, we, as the Human Rights Commission, uh, want to further state that we have noted the role of traditional leaders, uh, that it is a very important role that they need to play in, 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 the, in, in, in our constitutional democracy. Uh, amongst others, uh, traditional leaders, they live within the societies of our people. Traditional leaders are the first people of contact when, when, when there are problems in society. Uh, people go to them, you know, because they are just next door to our people. And therefore, if, if traditional leaders can work hand in hand with municipalities and capacitated as Morene Muhulu and uh, Mota have just said, if, if they can give in capacity and resources to be able to really make sure that the lives of our people are changed, you know, democracy will be a reality to a lot of people in South Africa. It would not be only uh, an ideal, you know, which other people really are now living and enjoying, but our people are saying, but, but what is this democracy? Are, are we really seeing this democracy if we're still struggling with, you know, block sewages every day, uh, you know, the, the roads infrastructure is just collapsing and all those things. We need to really make sure that uh, we capacitate our leaders, we capacitate you know, our, our um, municipal, municipalities to be able to make sure that our people enjoy and realize uh, the fundamental rights that are enshrined in our constitution. We, as the, and as the Human Rights Commission, uh, we are collaborating with a lot of uh, institutions. I know we, we, we have been having meetings with um, the MEC of Human Settlements. I remember there was a stage when there were, you know, I think shacks that were allegedly built somewhere in Harry Smith. People were saying, you know, one shack was, was bought for 300,000 rands. We, we felt as a commission that it is important to, to contact the MEC for, for human settlement and really establish, is this reality, is it real Mekoloi, what is going on? And we took a trip with them to make a, a site inspection. And upon our arrival, we realized that the government had made a very good intervention with the advent of COVID-19 to make sure that people who are in squatter camps are really decentralized and, you know, their lives are raised. Otherwise, would have a pandemic that would have killed a lot of people. So Human Rights Commission is not only there to come and break, you know, and, and point fingers at uh, our, our institutions. It is there to support them. But where our institutions are not really, uh, really making sure that our people get to realize the fundamental rights, we will correct uh, these institutions, and we cannot really do it with, with, with favor or fear. We will do it as the Constitution has mandated us to make sure that we realize the, 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 the constitutional democracy that we have all uh, been uh, aspiring to live for. Now, traditional leaders, they have a role to make sure that, this, that there is development in, in, in rural areas and, in, and, and around areas where they are living in. And they, they also have a inherent obligation to make sure that communities that we, we, we come from, you know, wherever they, 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 their jurisdiction extends, that those communities, they understand traditional rules and, and young people, as, as correctly Mayor Sifuba has said, young people who grow from those areas understand the role of Ubuntu and the role of young men within those communities and, 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 and role of young women. And, and we can only get that once we, society, you know, and, and all of us work together, um, meaning, you know, traditional leaders, to make sure that a lot of our people are educated and given, you know, uh, knowledge in areas where they should be uh, progressing. Lastly, I must say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have noted that there's been decisions in the Constitutional Court relating to, you know, issues that are affecting, you know, traditional 
you know, our customary traditional marriages and all that. And I've noted, um, seen that there's been a, a roadshow from our province, you know, introducing uh, the bill that is going to change, you know, one of the sections of traditional um, uh, marriages, customary marriages act. Now, we, as the Human Rights Commission, wants to make sure that each and every citizen of South Africa must respect the Constitution. And, and, and all organs of state must subscribe to honor the you know, authority of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights are things, you know, are rights that cannot be inalienated. We, we are born with them. You know, right to dignity, right to, you know, to security, right to be treated you know, fairly, right to have access to education. All these rights, each one of us and people who are living in those communities they have all these rights. And therefore, as a you know, commission, we want to say uh, our doors are open, uh, Marena, uh, for any advice, the uh, Hossi, any you know, collaborative work. You know, we need you know, people within communities to work with us you know, to tell us if there are issues where uh, human rights are being violated, to make our offices uh, aware of, of, of such violation because if this Office of Human Rights Commission is not placed you know, into task uh, for, for the work and the money that is called to, then the office will just you know, be, be running and people will be earning salaries for doing nothing at all. So we need to really keep them abreast. We need to keep the Human Rights Commission abreast and, and make them aware of any violations that might appear in, in, in society. In, in conclusion, as I sit down, Chairperson, I just want to say we wish uh, that uh, forums of this nature, you know, collaborative forums of this nature should continue. And, and therefore, you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and not only, you know, uh, workshops should be held in order to make sure that, you know, our mandate is extended to our communities, you know, uh, 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 traditional leaders, you know, invite our office so that we can really, you know, articulate what is the role of, 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 of Human Rights Commission and, and you know, the, the critical role that we can play in, in merging, you know, relations between, you know, the traditional leaders and municipality. One example, there's been a dispute that took place in, in, in Kwakwa where a lot of people were evicted. And, 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 and I must say, just as an example, uh, one of, 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 of the people, you know, placed, you know, uh, residents in a, a particular piece of land. And, you know, uh, those people were, were evicted from that piece of land. And when they evicted, some of them were placed at some, you know, areas where, you know, temporary shelters and things like that. And you'll find that there are women, children, and men in them. We, we must understand, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, when, when, when people are being evicted and, and are placed at temporary places, and, and more especially where, you know, there are traditional leaders and municipalities, those places are just temporary uh, shelters. They are not permanent places. And, and, and you know, People should be sheltered in structures where they will be in a position to really say, you know, the quality of life is maintained and, you know, uh, we can see that, you know, we have been moved from this place, but at least we have achieved uh, uh, the desired uh, the rights of, of housing, the, the right, you know, to water, sanitation, you know, right to electricity and all those things. So we, we, we must say when there are disputes of those nature, Human Rights Commission is there to to come and mediate in these processes. But the objective is to make sure that at the end of the day, the rights and strength in the Constitution of South Africa are met and our people live to experience and enjoy uh, all these you know, rights that you know, a lot of people have, have died for. Our leaders who have long gone to be with the Lord, you know, the likes of Ndate Mandela, and others who, who have really given their struggles to this country. Uh, I'm sure they would also want to see that the liberation that they fought for, uh, which is transcribed to local governance, you know, service delivery, you know, and the right to education, and the life of a black man, black people, you know, being realized and, 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 and enjoy the full fruits of constitution. And, 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 and in conclusion, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I, I was given 10 minutes, and, and 10 minutes has, has gone over. Um, and I appreciate your, your, your invitation, and we would really honor uh, any invitation in future. Uh, may the good Lord bless you. Thank you so much.
Ladies and gentlemen, another big round of applause. <laughs> this gentleman can be a very good politician. I don't know how many times it is say in conclusion. <laughs> and I know that uh, it's something that is really mastered by politicians. <laughs> finally, finally, finally now. <laughs> um, we were supposed to also get a word from Salga, and uh, we expected Councillor Olim Lamleli to deliver that address in her capacity as the chairperson of Salga in the province. But she's not here, and uh, she has tendered her apology, which brings me to other apologies that have been tendered. You will recall that the Honorable Speaker indicated that the Premier uh, had tendered her apology because of prior commitments. But for the purposes of the record, I, I must also outline the following apologies which have been submitted uh, to the management of this event. We have received the apology from MEC M.A. Koloi, MEC Kabate, MEC Maasa, MEC Makalo, and the Honorable J. Khadebe, MEC G. Brown, as well as the Chair of Chairs, Honorable M.P. Budi. We also received an apology from the Gender Equality Commission, Mayor Gertrude Mutupi. We also received an apology from the DA MPL, Honorable Peter Way. And uh, the only traditional leader, the only senior traditional leader who has tendered uh, his apology is uh, Morena Emuhulu Mupele. It means then that, Speaker, on the side of traditional leaders, we have got full complement. And I want to advise you that as you do this event next year, in order to ensure that you have full complement on your side, you must indicate to them that we will be voting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they will all come in numbers. <laughs> and um, you also indicate to them that we will be electing a joint committee because leadership sometimes is about ladership, getting into the ladder and getting into some committee. Um, at this point, uh, allow me <coughs> now to invite uh, the chairperson of the Provincial House of Traditional Leaders. One of the things that I know about this province is that you do not have local houses of traditional leaders. How many do you have? Two. In Mangaung and? those two, and the other uh, regions you don't have? You don't have? Those are the only two regions that have local houses, that have got traditional leadership in a formal sense. All right, beautiful. Uh, now let me invite the, the provincial chairperson of uh, this house who is someone that we really pride ourselves with, not only in the country, but in the continent, because she represents the spirit of uh, womanhood and uh, lady leadership, and uh, the fact that women lead from the front. And whenever an institution is led by a woman, there's stability. Uh, Memo Roca has been there from the new dispensation and she has uh, always been towering. She has got vast experience in terms of being there even in the National House of Traditional Leadership, serving in national committees, and uh, she is known throughout the length and the breadth of this country. We pride ourselves with her because she represents the spirit of those women that are unsung heroines in the struggle for liberation, but also in the wars of res resistance and wars of dispossession. So we say, Memorogo, you must remain very strong and firm. And the challenges in life and challenges of leadership is something that you must always preempt. And I'm sure where you are now, you have a way of uh, managing challenges. And uh, sometimes leadership is not about being situated 
and located in a position. Beyond the position that you hold, we still expect leadership from you in many ways and in many respects. So we salute you for the continued leadership and may you continue to lead us in the direction that you have been doing in the past 26 years. We have a lot to learn from you and one of the people in the Free State must actually start writing a book from this perspective so that uh, before you retire from retirement, because I'm told that you are not allowed to retire as a traditional leader, so someone must write that book for you. If you don't have someone, I can sponsor someone. Over to you. I was the only woman traditional leader for 10 years in the National House. So, ke katisi se ba bantsi ke lwanetse gore bo mme ba bantsi ba tsene re ne bantsi ko national house me go mpie no ra ipela gore national house e na le bo mme go tswa go di province ntse di ke a le bo eh eh le nna ke rata gore ke tse tshono ye go tla go bua le lona me pele ga tshotlhe re le boge modimo go le tsatsile le a re file lone gore se se dira gale go mpieno speaker of the free state provincial legislature me zanela sefuba chief whip of the free state provincial legislature ndate vus chavalala premier of the free state in absentia MEC for Cooperative Governance, Dr. Tembel Nangisa, all MECs and MPLs present here today. Mrene Muhulu Abakwena in absentia. Mrene Muhulu Abatrokwa, Mrena Mota. Members of the Free State Provincial House present here today. Executive members of the Free State Provincial House and local house, all senior traditional leaders, chairperson of the Queen's Forum, all women in traditional leadership, Salga Chell person in absentia, Reto Noka Mudise, senior legal officer from SARA, all government officials, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, problem director, I won't go in depth of what is in my speech due to time constraints. And I also like to promote our indigenous languages, more so that this month is Heritage Month. Madam Skipika, it is a great honor for me to be here today where the Royal Highnesses and public representatives have met to advance democracy. As leaders of society, Madam Speaker, it is critical for leaders to have regular contact sessions to ensure that our democratic state functions effectively for development. The rate of unemployment, poverty, crime, and decay moral fiber in our communities are at an alarming rate. Traditional leaders experience these challenges on a daily basis in rural areas. Therefore, Participation and involvement of Marena and Mafumadi in partnership with government to address these challenges has
facing our communities is of utmost importance. Allow me to highlight the following pertaining to the institution of traditional leadership. The institution of the Republic of, the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, Act Number 108 of 1996, recognizes the institution of traditional leadership. The institution makes provision for provincial legislation to be enacted to provide the roles, responsibilities of the institution at local and further established national and provincial house of traditional leaders. It is not by favor that this, institu that insti this, that this institution is in place. The Traditional Leadership and Government Frame Act, Act number two of 2019 was enacted to ensure that structures pertaining to governance of the institution of traditional leadership are established. The mechanisms are put in place to deal with traditional leadership dispute, disputes and claims. Even though government officials and some leaders are deeply rooted in these disputes. In the free state, two pieces of legislation were enacted, namely, the Free State Traditional Leadership and Governance Act, number eight of 2005, and Free State Provincial and Local Government, Local Houses of Traditional Leadership, Act number seven of 2017. The Free State Traditional Leadership and Governance Act makes provision for, among others, traditional communities are recognized there is recognition and establishment of traditional councils and that recognition, roles and functions of traditional leaders are provided in this uh, governance act. The Free State Provincial and Local Houses of Traditional Leaders Act provides among others the establishment of provincial houses of traditional leaders and houses of traditional leaders, and to determine the, their roles and functions, which are still unclear. Section eight of the Free State Provincial and Local Houses of the Traditional Leaders Act provides the functions of the house, which include, among others, and not limited to, advise the provincial government or the provincial legislature on development matters relating to indigenous law or affecting traditions and customs of traditional communities. And to advise the provincial government and participate in the development of provincial policies and legislation. To participate in national and provincial developmental programs. Participate in partnership with other stakeholders in provincial initiatives meant to monitor review and evaluate government programs in traditional local communities and participate in the structures of government. I wonder why this isn't happening the way it should be. Section 28 of the Free State Provincial House and Local Houses of Traditional Leaders Act provides the relationship between Free State Provincial House of Traditional Leaders and the Executive Council wherein the premier must, in consultation with the provincial house and executive council, determine the relationship between executive council and the provincial house, which is not happening. Ex uh, section eight, subsection two of the Free State Provincial and Local Houses of Traditional Leaders Act provides that the provincial house should perform such such functions as may be conferred by the premier or as may be provided for in any other relevant provincial legislation. Section 26 of the Free State Provincial, uh, provincial and Local Houses of Traditional Leaders Act further provides the relationship between the provincial house of traditional leaders and the provincial legislature where in the speaker of the provincial legislature must refer all bills introduced in the legislature 
that relate to, tra to traditional affairs, customer law, traditions and customs of traditional communities in the free state, or any other law that affect thereof to the Free State House for comments. Madam Speaker, despite the provisions of pieces of legislation, the Provincial House is still faced with challenges in carrying out its mandate due to lack of cooperation between the Provincial House, traditional leaders in general, and public representatives, as well as other government departments. Madam Speaker, as representatives of traditional leaders in the Provincial House, it is our conviction that this dialogue will foster the principles of cooperative governance and intergovernmental relations between Provincial House and other stakeholders in the Free State. As the Provincial House, we have noticed that traditional leaders are seldom consulted in and involved where projects or activities that take place in traditional communities by government departments in the three spheres of government, being national, provincial, and local. This defeats the principles of cooperative governance and intergovernmental relations as enshrined in section 40 and 41 of the Constitution. It should be noted, Madam Speaker, that section 20, subsection 2 of the Traditional Leadership and Governance Framework Act provides that whenever an organ of state within the national government or a provincial government considers allocating role for traditional councils or traditional leaders, that the organ of state must promote the ideals of cooperative governance, integrated development planning, sustainable development, and service delivery through allocation of roles and functions to traditional leaders. As earlier indicated, the above mentioned provisions of legislation are seldom realized in traditional communities. Traditional leaders feel neglected and, are un and unrecognized by public representatives as well as other government departments or organs of state on matters that affect institution of traditional leadership. Madam Speaker, this dialogue will provide a platform for the provincial legislature to play its oversight role and intervention required in ensuring that public representatives and government departments work together with provincial house on matters affecting institution of traditional leadership to promote the ideals of cooperative governance, integrated development planning, and sustainable development. The dialogue will further accord the provincial legislature to intervene where required insofar as functions, challenges, and operations of the institution of traditional leadership. Again, Madam Speaker, this dialogue should ensure that there is regular engagement between the provincial house with the premier, MECs, HODs, municipalities, Section 9 and 10 institutions and heads of entities. We tried it in the past, but it all was in vain. Our issues were like talk show, year in, year out, till to date. This engagement, Madam Speaker, will ensure that there is involvement, participation, and participation partnership between provincial house and government departments and other stakeholders on developmental projects in traditional communities. The enga engagement will further ease the tension that exists between the traditional leaders and councillors on land allocation, use and administration in the traditional communities. The high rate of gender-based violence, crime and social ills will be tackled from all sides. Through this engagement, rural, rural socioeconomic revitalization, revitalization and development programs can be implemented holistically to address the challenges facing traditional communities 
such as youth de development, educational opportunities, and moral regeneration. Millionaire moral regeneration. Nerchanzori, Mahosi, Ibeli Carlo Yaon, Ya moral regeneration. Hori, Rishakanyadi Chalokani, Rebone Hori, Bo gender based violence, Banabarnaba Bashimani, Banabarnaba Basitana, Rabatakanela Jang. You know how when we work in silos, I want to see this clear. In conclusion, Madam Speaker, we are hopeful that the dialogue should, be, should enable the provincial house to play its role on matters affecting traditional leadership in the province. With these few ways, I thank you, Madam Speaker, very much for inviting us to this august engagement. Thank you. I do know that uh, we don't recall traditional leaders, but at this point I would like to recall Memo Roca to come back to receive a token of appreciation. Let's give her another big round of applause. I also received uh, another apology from MEC Mashinini, uh, who has profusely apologized for not being here today, also through uh, other commitments in the day. Um, now we have come to a very critical point to this discussion. As we had indicated that the theme of the day is traditional leadership and its role in the Free State Province in advancing democracy. The next um, couple of uh, minutes, we're going to have a focused attention on the sub-thematic areas, which include land use and infrastructure, rules and constitutional development, social development, traditions, customs, and culture. So we're gonna have about six speakers coming from the side mainly of the house to tease these topics and give us a high level uh, of issues that are coming out from our communities in relation to these items and these thematic areas. And um, I hope that when we meet in 2021, as you could hear speaker that uh, Memo Roca is raising concerns. Traditional leaders clearly have got concern. There's a great element of dissatisfaction. And how I wish that uh, we can go beyond that, wherein traditional leaders are really comfortable in giving a meaningful contribution in the development of our society. So this talks to the issue of a sense of feeling marginalized uh, the sense of not being in the main table where the decisions are being taken. And uh, this is something that can break or make this country. And therefore, the importance of this occasion talks to that. Because as Africans, we must always have an African solution to an African challenge. And I think you have afforded us a very good platform to deal with that. So that as we move forward, the speech that we will listen to, to the chairperson in 2021, will be a complete different picture from the portrait that she has painted. And thank you, Memo Roca, for being honest, because we, we don't need to sweep these matters under the carpet. We need to bring them to the fore so that the politicians can appreciate this. And in fact, what you are doing, you are strengthening them to ensure that the areas that they have overlooked over years, it's time for them to pay particular attention to them. Uh, the rural communities of our country uh, have got huge challenges because we believe that the bulk of the resources go back to maintain the cities. And uh, we have not done enough to drastically and aggressively invest 
in the infrastructure in rural communities. And we need that because uh, even your voters, your loyal, loyal voters, are the people who are under the stewardship of traditional leadership. And therefore, it's something that we really need to look at. Um, now, um, we're going to have as a starting point Morena Ketua Yomoloi to give us uh, his own account in terms of these topical matters. Uh, Moren, uh, the floor is all yours, my leader. Uh, and the bull elem says as well. Kidumedise, eh, Motorangle uh so it's a backbone. Yeah, how is it going on? So, we in touch with our dealing at the people who are committing and then they will be house. On behalf of the committee, I would like to uh, just to, to give a brief on the uh, history of a, a royal institution. Royal leadership occupies an important place in Africa in South Africa in particular, as it embodies the preservation of culture, tradition, custom, and values of the African people, and it is mainly based in the concept of Ubuntu, which is includes respect, humanity, unity, and cooperation. Therefore, the institution has a critical role to play in the nation building, socioeconomic uh, development, and the administration of justice. So, Marenata Hopola, the traditional council since that one, more of got the traditional courts. More and more, we are going to try some of the minor cases. More like a traditional council since that one more. And then the other point is that the royal family, that is the core. Uh, body of the family. Uh, it is uh, explained as, as follows. Uh, royal family is the supreme body of the particular royal institution. What does that mean, uh, royal family? It is the core uh, customary institution or a structure cons consisting of immediate uh, relative of a ruling uh, family under a traditional community who have been identified in terms of custom and includes where applicable other family members who are close relative of the ruling family. And then royal leader means a, a person who has been identified as such by a particular royal family according to its custom and tradition. Uh, royal leadership uh, is hereditary. Skahare zeba marena ka ono borena be atswalo abo appointuli. Oya ba mmonzo thola ono hona wala rena le challenge ye kgolo hona jwa le mothola ono. Each and every corner there is much grooming. Ya ya borena mo mmonzo thola ono of got a lot of fake uh, traditional leadership who are called themselves traditionalists whereas they are not uh, recognized. So this point is also on our uh, royal leadership is hereditary according to the custom and, and, and culture. And then point number two is that uh, a royal leader is also accountable to his royal family, and then number two, to the community he serves. 
So Ebrena is the institution. Hasorum Rena Hache Tue, Osebitalemo, is the institution. Honalabato, the headman, community of Fella Royal Family, Esebital Lemorena, Gala, so Lemorena Tamelo, Abe Accountable, Honalama Accountant, Honom, Sibiti Hans our pet, Honobin Almoman's Accountant, Honamo, Illinois Royal Family, the community at large. The recognition in the Constitution, Chapter 12, whereby as traditional leaders, we recommend that uh, that chapter must be uh, amended. Uh, as we can look, it, it's got only two portions. That talks about traditional leaders. Only recognition and the role of traditional leaders. So, we are going to talk about the role of traditional leaders. The is the institution. And then, we are going to talk about the role of traditional There is no way we can talk about it. We've got only two sentences in the Constitution. We are going to talk about it. We are going to talk about it. We are going to talk about it. We are going to uh, traditional leadership. So it is only whereby we came to this conclusion that uh, this chapter must be amended. Constitution uh, Another point is that uh, the role of traditional leaders uh, it is uh, calculated uh, or it has been derived from the national legislation who provide for a role for traditional leadership as an institution at local level uh, on matters uh, affecting local communities. So we are so, Relebrena, so Harriet did in we are Honal Merengam mandate, so from as an institution that is established by the Act of Parliament. So, we've got rules, thirty follow up, and Hole Marena or Noel, or Hono Bonarana, at Sebet on Yarona. The issue sits a little Samai Sari, Samai Sari, Papi Sitele Mola. To deal with matters pertaining traditional leadership. The role of traditional leadership, customary law, and custom of communities observing a system of customary law. National or provincial legislation may provide for the establishment of houses, national house, so we've got them, uh, national house, the provincial house. So, Malau, Ubele Lango, Noel, Dita Melody established, we are going to act And then, from that section here, 211 and 212. Yeah, Constitution yeah, 108 of 1996. We are not happy with the government. We are amend the So, we are not happy with the government. So, we are not happy with the government. So, we are not happy So, we can regard the government. We are not happy with the government. We are not Some of the issues uh, were left behind. Even the houses. Before pre 1994, we didn't have any houses. We the houses after 1994. I know how to issue it. We are going to be in the area of 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 the area and then Anka now it's But now, it's a little or no. That's already public hearing. We are going to be able to be able to the legislation that was in force when the constitution took effect, that is administered by the provincial government. Whereby, 
We've got a traditional council. More and more, more more, partnership, more government. It's like we have partnership in the As traditional councils, partnership with government in all the other ones. Traditional councils, it's the more community in the third dimension. So, partnership, we have the relationship, we have the government. We have the one who is the one who is the one Development is it's all I want to know. More to learn on our show. Each and everything it's a million it's a whole more. But I know that I'm not going to be able to input on a team. So some of the functions of the traditional council, uh, like the church is, uh, it is a state organ that was formed under uh, uh, Act of Parliament. Functions here in Yapeli is that to facilitate the involvement of traditional community in the development of a local area and participation in the integrated development plan. So IDP and I hope la marina ga ona ke ona ele mo le develop one ke ke maspal. O bona ona di tulon tseletse go na mo le mohlomo o sin his jurisdiction. Eh maspala o tlo developer di area se tseo ka tselejwa. So but the challenge re na le ona go thola go na wena. Eh vo the wall to wall uh, Maspala is having a wall to wall uh, within our areas. But during the uh, implementation of how we do our IDP, some of the issues will only be called at the last minute. As Marena, Rotota, Rabba, Stempe, Fela, Ronowen, that would document if it were as. The input is on. input IDP is a document development For argument's sake, we will identify water or road as priority. But Maspala but is a project as you are network. So you'll ask yourself for now, which is a sewer network area near most not What is logic there? So, but if traditionals have been included in the formulation of the IDP, Nereta Meleberi pick up below one sauna, well, I run up area in Sarona Mono Yakadi water sarona. One, two, three, just on a table in the priority. So, gonna take more merit, I may have one or no one. Uh, partnership yarona yeah, yabata e e e e pami so rele rele marena ona wan ha re tsa ntho tse ka re ntshelo eh re gona participate ona mo and then the other point is that to support the municipality in uh, identifying the community needs se ke hlalo se itse gona idp yo rele marena re tlamela go fana ka input mo ka di needs tse re di batla metseng ya gona to support the municipality in identifying the community needs to promote indigenous knowledge system for sustainable development. As custodians of culture, Leona and I, we have to uh, promote it to our advice to enter into service delivery uh, agreement with the municipality regarding the essential services to rural communities, to promote the the ideals of cooperative governance, integrated development planning, sustainable development, and service development. Uh, to participate in the development of policy and legislation at local level. To warn the municipality about any danger that threatens the area of people living in a particular traditional area. To perform their duties and use their powers according to customary law in a way that is consistent with the constitution. Scarlet uh, the Constitution is the highest law in this country. So each and every law must be subject to the Constitution in order to be uh, uh, good in people. Uh, traditional council had have to be accountable to the provincial government by keeping uh, proper financial records, by disclosing any gift received, and following the prescribed code of conduct. Uh, the traditional council in Mola Maranaka, I hope, each and every month, when I grant it, 
but we are six at least I uh, mentioned Nagajin, but we are come home about elephants. Catting or not, Moranem Holo and Montosa, what I shall see them on our own. A Nerita Copa, Mussum, a Hokobona, Lorona, by revisit a young Mussum in your honor. In you lower or your honor is a clock of that community more. Because it's a Holland Mar and Amamon, we were in Pumala, whereby a Relara Bona on the traditional council of that day. Shall I deal by Honor with Fuman? Bahola or Nobahono Rana, the traditional council of Zaro. So on a Copa or no, Lorona, Cavana Ruela, government thing A one. So something is Alam Pumala and Amisoma Venin Terre Ratile. We have to 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 implement it, Jalewum. Uh, leadership, uh, partnership, uh, uh, partnership between municipality and traditional councils. Uh, here I'm talking about the leadership and the removal of traditional council. We've got a code of conduct. Uh, like I said, that uh, those uh, traditional leaders who are serving in the municipal council, uh, there is a code of conduct. I invitation if it if it's leader or not, we are going to cancel it. Oscar code of conduct that I'm going to tell you. We are going to cancel it. So. A traditional leader can be removed from office on any of the following grounds. Conviction by a criminal court without an option of fine or any criminal charge. Physical or mental incapacity or age. Where the commission of traditional leadership disputes and claims ends that the traditional leader was wrongfully appointed or recognized. Uh, so, generally, so, uh, as a committee, as a committee, or briefly, we can share this information uh, with this leader. So, but reliably, our whole committee or not, we have to make sure that we committee or not. At least, this is about twenty thousand years old. We try to get our people to get Very quickly, let's go back. Let's go to the next speaker, as we we will call Morena Newa Bupeli. And in the meantime, we invite uh, MEC Tsiwu to present a token of appreciation uh, to Morena Molovi. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Morena Newa Bupeli, over to you, sir. Uh, from the Molemore, a risque, radio, and a quite a lady. Calabua, Zolos Kai, say, it shall say, Nagalbito, Camera, no mopedi, a local land to get some Malama and a fresh data. Yas wearing committee in a ya Mobu le Maranga. Get that over in Tla, my by Pilo Bolocanaco. Relen tu yama rena ya fristata, rena lema tata ama holo eluring. Hano kare wa compare kapo wa ba pisi la mutemu, rena ritla sheba mna jobo. Rena matata eluring, unaluona kimo tu yama rena fristata ina jola. Kutlo aitewa, rena rena le watu kwa ba mchalo. Pesa le ba kopa na le muso silimo le silimo hiri rekupa mobu mobu and then kile ra sepiso kile ra fumana sepiso from government kapula legislature tenga hata 
tse ileng tsa thewa tsa qhala tsa thewa tsa qhala mo premiere mo lemo ngana fihla ka ga ntlo a ya ketsa molao o na re re bolukile tshelete ho tla reka mobu wa batlogwa e mo lemo o tshlota ba eng le ka je go le ha rena mobu ba tlogwa ba mogalo ba tlogwa ba mogalo ha bana mobu fela ha bana se baka sa wetsa ditshebeletso tsa sechaba ha hona le khotla le thewen jolo se ka ma khotla gona a thewen motho a sebetsang ke morena le monto e le meta pele wa hloya batlokwa le teng ha haela pele la hae ma dula le bana ba haeteng o sebeletsa ditaba tsa tshaba mo di tshebeletso tse loreng ha re le ntlhoga di thola ka thoko tsa bo dipeo tsa bo dintho tse ngata tse loreng di hloka mobu ha e fihla le khotleng la batlokwa ba mogalong ya ba feta e bo hloko beng ba ka nnit nnit e bo hloko ka tsile magatsa re le ka je go le re ntse re bua taba ya mobu a batlokwa ba mogalong mohlelo fe mo ore mobu ke ona ntho fela e luri re hloka re sebetse re lwanele me re shwelle ho bane ke ona fela ntho e tla dula na ko etelele maphelong a rona a di tlolotsa rona di tlotlolwana tsa gore ha re tsheetse ka taba mo bo beng ba ka re re hle re kopa ka wena me se fuba re kopa go thuse re thola mo bo wa batlokwa ka kopo hle le monse fedileng ri le ga etsa dipuputso me re fuputsa hore ke me a ho eme kae ya muso e metse nya marena e dutseng fela e sa sebetse e la ba le supi e la ba le supi ka je ko lena re bua ka me a ho ka metse nya marena e fetang 100 e vandalizing e la ha wa ke muso wa gale ya ba ine hola this government more than 100 government buildings are vandalized to date we have tried ka several times to consult and government department please help us ke thuse ngore me a ho yeo e tle ho marena marena a fe batho ba teng ba e sebedise e ske ya senyere e mpara gona fo mana thuso le ka je go le re ntse re lla ka me a ho yeno e ka benya tsela marena pina ga o tla bua nnete o nana le college ya speaking e motseng wa hae o likile o ga e batlele motho a e thotse motho ya mohlala fela thotse motho a go tlotsa private school to date ke foundation fela ho salo hana ka college ene re ebe mare matso ga morena but e fedile ke ha o sana molemo tabe nya ditsa ke na le mathatha re le magena re na le ho sutlwane le di masipala mabapi le ditsa one ho na le miedi ya marena ene re tsi ba ile miedi ya marena e tlileng matsong a marena e le nya fuwa di municipality without our knowledge or without a community resolution hayo but mo bue ka je kule ha re be ha batho ba gona ka pore re batho ba gona ba fumane bodulo mono no batho ba gona ba evictor ba ya tsamae a so re nning re batho ba pelo di thata re le marena but ntwe re tshongereng ha re tsibe go ho yetsa etsi e re gona fana ka di kelelo tsa gona re nahane ha ona ntwe bo hlokotse go se ka o fumantsala e councilor one of councilor o tla ka ga le khotla ha o fihla a se a ditsa ha o botsa o go a botsa o botsa o fumana gore mo bona o ila donate without us being knowing hore ho na le ntwe tseng e tsahalang mo bua gona o ya tsamaya and then ungwa ke masipala without us tabantsho ba tla le bolella ba fumane mathata makae ba lwane everything ba ba tla mo bua bona e le go ungwa ke ma councilor le teng le bona ma councilor ha ba fihla le ka respect ba fihla fela ba tilletse ha re hlile re faeng di boundary sa gona re gona re dumellane re se ke ra ba le mathata a ditsa le gona ma rena ntse rena le mathata gona ka gore ha ga gona ho dumellana re tsebetse ya gona ditsa e tla ba kae mo bua metse ya gona mo rena montu di a ka bua nnete le ma rena ma ya tlala ya tlala ya ntwa tswa be mba ka o tia mo hlala fela le tlo fumana next to a road mo no tlamile ba le development ka bona leng is batho ba batla ditsa because 
Mobu Watala Hauna extension of land from our own communities and then population Yahola Silimo, Lislimo, and then Batwarona, Harhonuf Mansalare, Bafumana, Disabilito, Juan Zamanta. Yautela de Benzara, Honela Molono Tanking, Kiss Plum. A speaker out where Tabenuas Pluma Utrisa, Marana Botloga, Zile Magazano Bani, Spluma Moteo Masona. How na most ananelambre na ti? Bagi di municipal tribunals. Ha huna, ha huna. Meluring huna lo ananelambre na ti romre na anke bi garabelo. Ha huna lidin kafato seta. Kibona fela huna lunthwe eke na yeza hala. Ha ibo huna le luri sebiza ni ake na luri sebiza ni kuto se development. Ha ukonya mutakasi. Ha ukonya mezi. Kuro fela. Dikedo, dimkuwa kiba tu ba anibasipuma, mwabungu liminti nya marena, nteluro marena atibiswe. Husani, murena obe ha mutu, hodima pipe ya meti, amtakas. Not knowing urona la pipe ya meti, amtakas ubani murena, haya consultwa abafu wa mapa. Obule la huru murena, even if ulakaza wa faba tu dita, mwona na pepe ya mtakasi, mwona na li ing, huna li ing, huna li ing, murena atibe uhuyeza hala ing, mutu mwa huna, tswe, tswe. Kwa kupawe, hara tuzani nka tabata kuna zamubu kwa shampani. Spiga zulos kwa soko pali kwa marena utaro tuzani kwa ufela karulo tena zamuzo ili provinsi ili mtuebra ili fasi di maspala di tuzani kwa sebeti alona kuna pila mnati kile bo. I'm going to request uh, MSC Mahwe uh, to come forward uh, to present uh, this uh, token of appreciation uh, to Morena Newo Mupili. Let's give them a big round of applause. We now move to Princess uh, Moroka Musabi uh, to present uh, her input. Let's welcome the princess. Like daughter, like mother. Yes, indeed, an apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. He said, I was born in the city of Rona, I was born the of the Madam Speaker, uh, your executive, all members of the legislature, kan thaya na ko ke kopa go adima ditumediso ka boikokobetso. Indeed, uh, program director royal leadership has been there since time in memorial. Whether we like it or not, it will always be part of the fiber of governance. It has been there. Governments have come and left. Governments will still come and go and will still be here. It's a fact that we cannot shy away from. Um, today I'm, I'm requested to speak about um, land use and infrastructure, in particular socioeconomic development, um, which is basically development as a whole within the sector of royal leadership. I prefer the, the um, saying royal leadership instead of traditional leadership. I'm not sure where we, we got this traditional leadership um, issue from. I will start by saying we cannot separate development from the land issue and talking to the theme of this gathering in particular, um, when we talk about our role as a sector, 
in advancing democracy. My tagline in any platform is until such time that we are comfortable to talk about the uncomfortable in a civil, just, and respectful manner with utmost tolerance towards one another, we will not progress. And to add to what Morena Neomopedi, let's say in Tarala Baholu, or a Kibuasi Jatlagbi, I think a Ka Lebakalana, Gohela, Rubuapu, Arona, Rensamai Gudlo, Arona, who took over the Womba Pilot Arona. And Morena Neo, to add on to what you said through you, program director, we have a standing resolution and position as the entire sector of traditional leadership that 13% of the land should be transferred to us. Of the 13%, we are saying it is non-negotiable because it is land that is already under our, our administration. So negotiations should be around the 87%. In fact, the National House of Traditional Leaders has been hard at work to see how we optimize development within the 13% that we are currently administering as a sector. We were supposed to host a national land, land summit, uh, but due to COVID, we had to postpone. We, had, we have been in engagements with Minister Tokodidiza and her department in this regard to an extent that we even um, had a study tour to different countries to benchmark and learn about different land tenure models. So uh, unfortunately, COVID came in, and I believe once everything has settled within the country, these initiatives will definitely be prioritized. As, as the leader of the Free State Delegation to the National House of Traditional Leaders, where I serve in the executive. I am also a convener of both um, a special task team we call the Agrarian Revolution Task Team and a convener of a team that is drafting a master plan on what we call Invest Rural. We took a deliberate stand and course of action as a sector that leads the most disadvantaged and vulnerable population, that if we want change, then we need to be the change that we want to see. It is common knowledge that our areas are underdeveloped and our people always receive the far end of the stick. So the provincial house um, sorted important that we also include this brief of the work that's been done in the national house or at national level to assist this collective to begin to understand the institution better and where it is heading. So we have in 2019, during the official opening of the National House of Traditional Leaders in Parliament Cape Town, presented um, the concept on agrarian revolution, followed by a presentation this year during the official opening again of the National House where we presented the Invest Rural concept. And these two developmental initiatives were adopted and will certainly bring change to the face of royal leadership within the country, within the continent, and at a, at a global scale. But we need to understand that things need to be done correctly. I think we are missing the plot, if I can call it that, because of us working in silos and basically everybody not understanding the institution as they should. There's a question that we get all the time um, that says, what is the relevance of traditional leadership in the new dispensation? So regarding the agrarian revolution, 1,400,000 hectares of land has been pledged by royal leaders across the country 
towards using agriculture as a catalyst of change for social, socioeconomic development in our areas. The process is still ongoing. We are trying to bring together all stake, uh, relevant stakeholders. And because we understand the importance of working together and the importance of partnerships, we, in fact, um, traveled with the Minister of um, Land um, and Rural Development, Metoko Didiza, to Benin in West Africa as a benchmarking exercise to see the Songhai model, which is world, uh, a world-renowned model recognized by the United Nations, um, where they used agriculture as a catalyst for change within that community. So the agrarian re revolution is also a conversation that will cascade down to the provinces. And as I mentioned, it's still ongoing. We recently presented the remodeling of this um, agrarian revolution concept to our honorable minister, May Nkosazana Zuma. We had to remodel because we took from the lessons as we, we were in the process of bringing the concept together. And I think once everything is ready, it should um, come down to the provinces. The invest rural concept, something that I'm very, very passionate about, is one program that will certainly change the face of traditional leadership. Because we are talking about a holistic approach in developing our communities. I think for the past 25, 26 years, we've never had a master plan that speaks to the development of the areas of traditional leadership exclusively. So this is also a process that we are undertaking. We also have initiated an investment holding company called URK Holding. But I just want to say one thing that has really exposed us as a country is COVID. It has forced us to reflect and seek to ignite honest conversations amongst one another about the future of our country. I also take this opportunity to express our humble gratitude towards the institution of traditional leadership. This is a, an institution that's never celebrated. Yet the con commendable work they do and they, which they continue to do on a daily basis, which I think has been magnified during the COVID um, pandemic era where traditional leaders across the country, or royal leaders, not traditional, across the country played their part selflessly so within their communities. Without the assistance of government, they took it in their own hands because they understand who they are and what the institution represents. The National House in particular, through the partnership with the Solidarity Fund, which um, I serve um, in that committee as well, initiated four programs um, as an as intervention towards COVID. And the first one was 882 loud hailers were procured for every traditional council within the country. The second one, um, we 20,000 beneficiaries benefited from 700, we issued seven, sorry, 700 food relief vouchers to 20,000 beneficiaries. Um, and then the third one, <coughs> apologies. The third one is um, five hectare food security projects in identified traditional communities. And then lastly, one that we are about to roll out is that 45,000 beneficiaries will receive vouchers worth 2,000 rand 
for food security. So this is mainly towards um, small scale vegetable um, initiatives and poultry in initiatives. We understand that gen gender-based violence, unemployment and poverty are basically at a crisis level. And thus we need to seek to bring sustainability that will affect our people for a lifetime to change the course for the better in ensuring we realize the prosperous South Africa that we all dream of. We must also cultivate a culture of collaboration and working together instead of having the silo mentality that has cost us so heavily. We, we you know, I, I have this saying that I always speak um, in various international platforms that collaboration is the new competition. And until we master the wealth that we find in bringing people together and in partnerships, we will not go anywhere. And that's, that's a very unfortunate fact. Um, we, I, I think, you know, at the end of the day, we serve the same communities. We are there as a sector to complement government. We are not an opposition party in any way. And we are definitely not in office for a term. So if we, we are to speak sustainability, this is the sector that we, we should be uh, leaning against so that whatever is initiated, initiated has or, or, or experiences the, the sustainability that you're looking for. Um, if things are not done well, and if things are not done in the best interest of those we lead and serve, we are bound to hit a brick wall. And as I conclude, I urge lawmakers to genuine, genuinely educate themselves about this institution, to have a better understanding of who we are, where we come from, and what we represent. A lot of all that is going wrong is be because of lack of knowledge and short sight, and some, somewhat, to, to a certain extent, political will lack thereof. We must also have foresight if we are to assist the advancing of our democracy. We must also start being genuine and honest with ourselves in the best interest of the future of this country. Let us cease doing things for the sake of compliance. We cannot be, and it cannot be, that we still find ourselves having these conversations a quarter of a century post the new dis dispensation. I thank you. I will request uh, the Honorable uh, Bulwane to come forward to present a token of appreciation to the princess. And I must say that uh, the princess is doing a very good work in the communities out there. She established a foundation, and that foundation is making interventions in a number of uh, rural communities here in the Free State. We see this through her broadcast on uh, Instagram, WhatsApp groups, and Facebook platforms, the good work that uh, he's doing that the date even in schools. I think she sent this year more than 210,000 sanitary towels to a couple of your schools in respective areas. And I think it's an intervention that she did recently. I remember seeing this uh, being posted on the social media. Uh, continue doing that work, Princess. We encourage you to do so, uh, to raise a, a, a good name of uh, royalty and traditional leadership. Now we request um, uh, Murena Maase Maase to come forward to present uh, his input. Let's welcome him with a round of applause.
Holo, Wabatoko, Amrena Mota, Homerena Moholo, Wabakuena, in absentia, Amrena Mopedi, MEC, Chapel Senea, Free State House of Traditional Leaders, Maranari Soho, Government Officials, Batengwano, Kiadma Motuzuna, Fela Hofanaka, Carolo Nana, Ehutuane, Yaseo. Tools of Trade, Section 24 of the Houses Act. Yapeleke official accommodation. How Sheba Mani Mo Hutwinke Parliament Yamarena Bloomfontaini Moe Be Winti. How Hosebaka Saupaka says. Sibaka sete mwoni, kia sibaka sese nyinyan ya hono. Hari kaluke la hubali ba iti. Tenki matata a fiti sisa. Ki matata a fiti sisa. Di ofisi hadina information. Hau kena kara di ofisi tena. Utafuma na hore hau na information. Uka ifuma na kara di ofisi tena. Marala nga teknoloji haayo hutusa upeta misebezi e shoka halanya puso. Harileke ngulatela misana. Yabo Eastern Cape. Libo mpumala nga mohu nanle me ahu emi nte. Di local houses. Tete nkwa nufreistata. So na hake sabuwa. Hadina di ofisi ho hang. Karula wabu edi, renovation of traditional council's offices. Tulo ntedi mi aho, ito fete hao fitla makhote. E khatezi. Ki mi aho e khatezi. Hagezi bile hao kabata history ati ngurna hawe nimi. Hao na renovation, nchafato muna hayo. Haya khotalete tsebezo ho hang. Me aho eo marena a sebele zang kata sayona. Ma khota amang ibile marena aya itugi seza. Ona kabu bona. Bansa mi kote nya bona. Chel tiena khote. Eko sa tsebe nina muso ipo zang horna ibe muso hao bona. Hovali di nita fazo, te ite le, te ite ngin pa hose na le toleti le mkwa no, le khoten le na kapa le khoten la ni, kapa le khoten la ni, ibe muso ure ing, kata ba hizu alo. Ka baja te e si yo, te na di nita fazo, te na te o ma khota adietang, ame rab, ba dieta ka baja te e si yo, Mishorin yo baike teta nyono bane. Baha eso. Tseba mwore marena ha adula fela. Marena ae me kama otu. A adina didi nto tseba ike teta nso ona. Government garage vehicles. Dikolo yitze filo marena. Ha teme fela. Ha ebe donationi ho marena ao. Ao, tapedi se, muso wa hesu. Mare na hana di pension fund. Mare na hana leto baeza, baeza mosebezi wa witelo si chabeng. Baeza mosebezi wa le rato si chabeng. Kete lung, hana kwa ya wana ifiche ya hore. Balo ke le hore, bapomo le, habana leto. Le hae ba, ba luke la hotuwa, le fase leo repila ngolo na, ba siyama la pabo na, mi lome ili mi puzwa. Ho ba fa kolo yeo, na etaba morena, osa enzo nto kolo hakakang. Kolo yi nyana yeo fela. Harina hane ngor na muso, batuwasa wile za muso, hakiriki ya kibata hore, marena a trito jolo ka government officials. Empasaribu waka, ntonyana ena ilungu fela. 
Ford Rangers have a donation. Humarena ao arifilwe. At the end of the day, halimo tseo tseshano bifed. Morena angamba itiri sekayon. Hore ah, kete lunche kila kafunga nchina. Leho ba na ba hai leho le loko. Leho family leho mitsalle kile kapuza ka ho ho mimo. Who fell a honamo? Ham muso of Freistata, Ula Telemesala, Yadi Province, Tsek and Bumpumalanga. Ha, Mpumalanga, Limpopo, the Eastern Cape. Mo ha teme e fell, Marana afu, afua, Adifua, Eba, Sabon. How by so? Muso uh, Marana Freestata Habuik Amosolo We are not talking about a, a miracle. These things are happening that at the end of the, of the term. Koloi F. Murena. E. Hurai Sebedi said Sebeton Yahai. High and Semen said to Hai Murena. Ha Koloiena Teme Fela. I fue as a donation. Na Eastern Cape yes apostle. Hai fanagari kuloi zeu. Say lang eri famaren. Na mpumalanga yes apostle. Hai fanagari kuloi zeu. Na limpopo yes apostle. Kau fanaga kuloi humuren. Tete lo nyamu sebezi. Thank you. Yes, a thank you. Let us learn good practice. Oh, Muswar no free start, or Rata, or Sompa, or Lacalet and Bocamusobo, or Hapaseha. Recopella Marena Anna, Diculoise, Reza Tapedi, Holona MC Hore, Ha, Badi Newe, Ibezo, Nabakebare, Israel Haba, Nabahaba, Mosali, the Solid Mosanta, take up a mo. Muso sebeletsang o file ndi le motsekana ka a ka khona o supa ba na ba ka se ba nka ntle ka mo le tla bona go go mo that is learning of the good practice limpopo is doing that eastern cape is doing that has been doing that for more than 10 years even even beyond beyond that they have been donating bantsa ba donate no, hi, fella, Marena. Kia how? Do what you like. Ki government garage vehicles. The Ford Ranger say, Zer Bungaso. And Kaya Katela, Ertubuakana Kia Bone, budget. Holy traditional leaders. Marena Aceves and Tle Le Budget. How Bahais? Budget tenyana yeo, marena ibile a esa ding tenyana tse ding. Marena hadu la fela, hadu la fela. How ya tu lonza ona tofana hore, ba leka ho esa inka mnyana eiting ka mesori a tao etem pila bona mo. Mesori a tao eo etem pila bona mo. Nse to pila ali chaba. Sabona, ntele budget haiyo. Waki kwa nchini sasa chao sabona pili. Husina budget. Batu bana ba itele tiri chaba senga tapili. Seo kala tazi le le sasa tunguwa kalo na hule hule tawa. Kwa shaka ngore. Lebona haba tle mili mo na ba itele mili. Ba tla di kipsele tamu dimu diema lining. Kaneti muswaruna o habane re rete lehare la pile lehare la pile. Ntale budget tapi so ebilenting na kung efiti leng hotswa ho tuna kholo ya miseng ine ili ten thousand euro leona in in thing e ilinya ni. Haribuakayo. A Kitahomara Nama Holo Maranama Holo, a Muso Ukile, 
wa tshepisa ho go ba ahela dipaleis muso o kile wa tshepisa hore dipaleis marena maholo ke yao marena maholo a ntsha matuna ona e ke le hlwae dibaka tse o dipaleis di ka hawa dibaka tse o ntse di eme ha re bua tsena tse o marena a maholo a ileng a kopua hore a tlo haela dipaleis me di baka tsa hlwaua ketelong ra ba ra utlwa ho sotho e matlo ao a tlo ha dipalesitseo ho ne ho tlwetswa dipalesitseo kgolo a holo e se tlobatsenyana marena ha ka ba etsa any objection bantse ba be ile le tso phatleng gore muso khabane o tla ba teng a ho sane o seng o fihle o baetsetse dipalesis e mona e e muso ha e somarana arna ibe muso o ka e ka taba ina muso o ka how fight the government about this issue ibile ena taba e se ibile e fitilwe ke nako e fitilwe ke nako na na taba ina ya ya o haela marana ma holo di palace ha di tshepiso ho marana dike di peta ha le ke ntla ka o ketela di ntla tsa tsena tse builweng ha di bele time frame ha di bele time frame regular meeting se di tswarwe with the stakeholders re bele ntho tsena tse thago re bele eh re ba le day of discussion se fela ene re bona ya di puisana re bele day of acceptance mo re amelang hore ntho tsa ntse re bua tsa tlane ke tsena re di amoetse me ge be le day of implementation re ke ya ntho tse o tshebetse re le muso ge be le day of celebration a celebrating our achievements marena a tle a tloketika le muso re re a le bua muso ka di ntho tse o le ge fileng tsona ha re tloeleng hore marena ka nete seo marena ana le tsona ntse na ka nete ke di nthotsetswang ho ba samaria ba molemo ba samaria ba molemo bana ba o bang ka bona ke bo motsepe foundation ha bona track ere tulong ya mogena o tsebe ro ifuwe ke mo samaria molemo jolo ka motsepe foundation jolo ka gift of the givers ha bona milomonyana ya batho ba bona e se miputso o tsebe hore gift of the givers ile ya feta mo ya etsa mosebetsi eh motamisa mosebetsi ke ya leboha um we going to ask uh, the honorable lituka uh, to come and uh, present a token of appreciation to Morena Mahasa Mahasa. Uh, so if you may proceed to the front, sir. Let's give them a big round of applause as they... <laughs> We're now going to invite Mof Mahadi Vyelwa Tsotetsi to come forward and make her own input. Let's welcome her with a round of applause. Malibongwe. Kamala Makosgazi. Humrena Mohulu, Morena Muntuidi Mota, Morena Mohulu, Wabatokova Mota, Humrena Mohulu, Sikong Bahai, Morena Mremohulu, Mupedi, who emissia Rona Ntatein Langisa, who honorable speaker, Messi Fuba. Lidi toka ufela za legislature. Hunta te tunoku mudise. Hunta te from Human Rights Commission. 
ho marena rona ka ofela a dihlo ho marena o tle a dibaka all protocol observed ke ka sotho ke ka dimadi tumediso ka ofela tse entsweng ya buang mona ke mfumadi boelwa tsotetsi ke memba ya free state house of traditional leaders ke memba ya executive ya ntlo ya marena hape hape ke chapter ya social development in the free state ho tle mo hona le dibakeng tsa di traditional communities uh, madam speaker the provincial house proposed a partnership with government departments and other stakeholders to fight gender based violence youth and teenage pregnancy drugs and substance abuse and all societal ills this can be addressed only when moral regeneration movement can be resuscitated in the province because it was there i don't know what happened ha re sa bitswa a ke tse bohetsa lang but ke a tse bankile ya bateng boholong it's our view madam speaker that poverty and unemployment in our traditional communities can be addressed when stakeholders work together with traditional leaders in initiating pro projects in traditional communities such as stockfalls sewing cooperatives sewing uh, soup kitchens for the poor, the vulnerable and elderly, and ECD centers. The provincial house humbly requests the resuscitation of the PHP houses. Honorable speaker, we request the full participation in drafting of integrated development plan and local, and local economic development. We also, and Madam Speaker, let me indicate traditional leaders will have a difficulty in playing a meaningful role to the five tasks that were identified by the President during the State of the Nation Address, which underpin the function of government. As long as traditional leaders are not provided with the resources, it will be difficult for traditional leaders to play a meaningful developmental role. The Free State House of Traditional Leaders furthermore humbly request for the resuscitation okay, of, of the PHP houses. Uh, under social development, programs there are programs that are running but due to the relationship between uh, our provincial departments it's because there is no support by the departments uh, late last year we managed as the house to establish and to establish the Queen's Forum. Up to this day, we've been fighting the activities for poverty alleviation, but none, not even one department. And Hahulu Hulu Kitakupa, Governor Speaker. To make it possible for the house to meet, to interact with uh, 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 Bo MEC for each department, because we poverty cannot be alleviated if there is no support from all the go the government departments. Um, for example, there was an engagement with the Premier Tabeng Yahu Tusa on GBV. Uh, up to this day, due to lack of relationship, Haiso Kaya materialized. 
re lontshitse Queens Forum le yona e tengi ya sebetsa ho na le di project under the Queens Forum mo ho na le di soup kitchen ho na le bonggono ba re but because department of social services is nowhere hence we decided to uh, ask for donations from the friends of of whoever in the in traditional institution or baritusa re khona hore ho bona ha le hore and at the end of the day everything e revolve le re ka kopa relationship mara ntwe re bona there is lack of respect of traditional leadership in the province so ka wena honorable speaker re ta kopa hore o wetse hore ho beteng makhama a hore ke tapile ya province e kopane le ntlo ya marena ntlo ya segosi gore dintho ka o fela di etsa hale it's never too late we can start all over again ke a lebo At this point, we will request uh, the Honorable Majake uh, to come forward to present um, a token of appreciation. Yabonuguti, even Nama read overalls exercise extreme discipline in the presence of our course, which is commendable. <laughs> uh, this, let me now invite Murena Pinare Mulefe to come forward and make his input. Over to you, Murena. Kyale <laughs> Tumia <laughs> mo primeiro aruna di MEC tsohle marena aruna ka ka karetso ba hlanka ba mmulso ba tenkwano ai ho qohola ho tla reng ka nako ke le bo afela ho gobane ko a qetelo ke le sibui mabapi le meetlo ona aruna ile ke le modula studio wa komiti e teletseng tsa botshaba ka harantle ya borena eleng meetlo ona le di tabatse ngata se bohloko e jwa lo ka di se tshaba sa rantso re utlisisang hore tla me ya beke ntho e tlotlwang ha ho Impaka maswabi le ho makala re go tlhi ditaba tse tse nyarosang tse bileng di hlale di komporon tse na taruna di nye folwa ka mogwao me ho huetswa ke mabaka a ho sa ithlompe re le tshaba sa rantso 
Nsamai swam seveti. Free starter. And travel and I tell you, Pale Hoodie Province is an about fair. Your Naila Tewa be Ao Tewa Matu at the province. Empower Makala, how to load Tola Dil Lotte Sahang Kamahalo Fapana Zebe Wengidi Tomona. Le ha muswa runa ole ka empani tsenga ta di morao ke batla ke gatha gatha la matla ha ke e eme mona ke bua go bane puo tse hla ha mona ha di amele fafala MEC wa runa fela eh mhlompe speaker Kutu sisi ya kawe inju iredi amama fapa kau fela kau fapa na huya kama sebe tika aru iru loke langu re aru la le re aru le la nemu sebe tina kile mare na le muswaru na iru shumpa nyuru ratang kabu talo hara fisha tabenye na ya moyeto lita maisota te. Ebi lema rao nyana kwa na msompe speaker. Rele nitu ya maren. Meri ila kasewe za hante le. Le tona lene di ikarabella mwoni. Kwa kwa la bile mabili. Ene le tona labo pilo bobote. Wila arala tabatena. Hante ga mkwa umakata nga bukhabani. Ae za horo huwe ten di komiti ze taro. Elin komiti ya province, ibe komiti ya lokali, ibe komiti ya na abararu ya district. Empa kabo madima abe utla tola ure mshompe ispiga, komiti ya sebe zang, ingu fela, kia lokali. Eli nyona ena ye kenyang matata hufiti sisa kahara puso. Le kahara di chao. Runare le nitraburena huya ka emisi ene iso pile itawazen. Reseva hu di komiti tena zeta vraro bazo. Empa Eseli di li mojwa lo komiti tena tse pek ya provinsi le ya nyo di shwile. Re tola ho ro komiti ye e pelang ki e na ya reka e vitsa unke komiti ya matata. Ye vile nye i e za matata kabo yo. Komiti tena ha di tewa mwyelelo wa Keta pili waruna inelo hore di tewe kadi stakeholder kakakarezu. Impa ni hake nzere tamaya jolo ka amare kie teleti komitie. Utatola hore viso mwona le matata hahoro. Hau sina matata hai. Hau tibisa lo hore di. Impa hau kala osa matata ki moho tibisa la nga hobre na kote hii. Matata ama hulwa yetu wangi komiti ya runa ya lokal. Haya forma komiti yena ya lokal kamu kwa otwa neti ingi. Hukenyele za di stakeholder. Utatolaka di baka tenga atere di tama ili mwa ili idu wakidi maspala hao luku komiti ya lokal. Utatolaka kubangile di ngaka za runa ere di shompa nkapa kiso na te ikete za. How to tell out to the Lord, Committee Local, King Ak, Kimu Buluzi, King Ak, Kimu Buluzi, Buholo Babo, Dimas Pali. Galeri Potter Potter, Na how Uling Ak, Ubilo Limu Buluzi, Now Committee, Etla Hono Yemela's Chap, 
Hawari wala ha hubuwa ka nfena hubuwa ka bana basi cha. Empa no tolore, uhulu badita ba zenu, kidi nga ka fela zeti muna. Ta tola kuwantu, haesa le muyelelo wano ahore, huluke la hore. Iwe di stakeholder, ze kopa na monu, hutataisa, hore taba zena za miyetlona huna, utlo di idita mai hand. Ke ka hona, Bimba ka utla tola hore. Nining, huso huna li di gangsta. Ze sa hankai, huwa totu hangi babolozi. Bona ka bo bona, yona komitia ni klasi, ki ona ese iluansa, ki mo di gangsta di sa hanti. Huwa ni wala wa ikete za bona ki ngaka, ki mo bolozi, ki ntoze na ka ufela ki limu. Ki ma tatere kwa pana luo. Er kopan tsoe 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 hore ha hona ke ha go tsebe ene le le fapala health ana ikemizi ha jwa le ha go tsebe go ke MEC ya rona na ye tsa maisa mtabatsena ha go sa tsebe ha ntlentle ka muso ya o ka metseng ditabatsena rona ba ne bo holo batho ba rona ha ba sa etsa moetlo bemba ka mhlompe speaker Rasi rasi vile ta chele, yana mweyetlo, kimweyetlo, ushoka hutsama iswa, kiba tu ba utiba, impani kuna kwa vile tifela, kuna kilembe ma mweyetlo, impa huli juu, kilema kena hariki vile hara la sithepo, kia hote mire shoka ndi, kilembe ya borena. Le boche va y camarayan le rouna va ratam mietro. Mietro on a rouna au compère en réaïa. Ridou le fasse le bona. Ré elé te. Hore batse bore. Dita batse na hore dit le di loke. Bana va va tu vas kava haïje kwa. Bana va va tu vas kava le mala. Bana va va tu vas kava basoka hala. Bana va va tu vas kava un kwantle le batswadi. Hoya rè roi. Ha uwa kamieto uya rero ki buwa hona ke khodinya le shumem shompe speak ka se rona re le ba tse ba moyetlo e tlamea ho e be government ka pa mare a sa tse ba gona ba batlang ho bolotsa ke boma jwa e mpatla thola go tabatsena di hlaela the last khodi ya december ho sane motho sa hla o hlohloma mophata Kata ma iso e sing handle. Stifike e ti se tswa kai hu di street. Hu yi poza poza hu di street ina ebe mo tiwa hu. Hu tsi ba ala handle. Hu reki mo taka za ma iso andi te abate. Kato uka. Hu bane mi etro asua aka ke le mo. Mi etro kwa bo ndate. Mi etro kwa bo mme. Hu sa khatale te hu reki nna e lingun. Mwana orerwa ke motswadi empaneng me mohlenyena ho ya thautwa ke di gangsta di thautela ntla ena go ne re sa e amoheleng e re sa dumelane le yona ga le marena gore ho na le babolotsi tsebo ya rona le kutlusisa ya rona gore mo bolotsi ke mohlake bo rotsang ke phatsa ngwana waka ka waka Hakina huhureza bana basi shaba fela kiri kia buluza kajini. Kise eza hala ngona ki. Hona ke riti ye zimbe mbaka ya hore na. Ere ta, ere le runa ke lintu. Haredu mele hona ke na huya kabu ye mbona ba COVID-19. Ripoza di poza hore na ibe mieto o matela ngaka. Utla se obete mshombe ispiga kati zemo. Ivi le har khutalezi, huya kabu ye mo babo pilo ba honaji, lebo chasa bo ito anke ba tuwaru. Runa re le ntri abore na har khutalezi hore, ibe li mo nse na huka ba ting, ntwe ito anan le mo pato. Empari ka mahanya lo retla uka ro, muso a runa wana wibo na lwa nta wa ye. Empari nse rebe ili le toro, hadi ta ba di li kena, Hake di eme di bootse. Hulu ke di ntohan. Lohore rele 
muso le marena go bue re thehentwe na hantle e tsamaya as jolo ka ha ke buile ke re committee tsena ha di phile mhlompe speaker committee ya nation ya ya province ha e phile e khono ho ile tso ka batho ba yona go bana re sebetsa le batho ba sa ba sa ya metlong ene re ke ba ba qhella ka thoko ba mo sebetseng wa bona re sebetsa le ditshaba tsena le bana ba bona ba bang ha ba ikamahae o tla utlwisisa go ha o tlo ngwana ha o tshi o sa le thabeng ha o ikamahae le moetlo o ho reng ho e ebe batho bana be re reng ba bolotsi ke tlo thetsa batho ba boruna ba ba ngwana o sa kene ha mang ke sa tsebe ke le motswadi o re ruwe ke mang e le dintho tse tsa halang e re sa ikamahae le tsona ho hang re le sereng ke fetele ntlheng ya mhlompe e lula se lwa la ka ke tsholo ka re ditaba tsena ha di ame ha di ame le tona le 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 eh mhlompe speaker hona le mafapha e ke tla qobolla mo eleng la rural eleng la teng eleng la tourism ha ho e ku tlisisang ka botlalo go go thusana le le fapala ro ke mafapa tla me yang a a tamele ha go ha holo ha holo ho di baka tsa rona mahaeng ho ya ka mesebetsi ya bona o ya swaba mhlompe speaker ha o thola ha o tlo mona o ya qaqa ha o fita clearance o thola ithaba tse ntle tse khahlehang tsa bothori o feta ha o ile o hlahela ka golden gate o ya swaba mhlompe speaker o thola na ha ile ntsho e le dikaukau tse ntsho o ipotsa go ba thori ba reng ka re le batho ba juang re le president mafapana a mararo e kwa qolang e ke buang ka bona ha ho no ho sebetsa hantle ane ana le batho ba thusana le sirela le mmuso mafapa ana a hira batho Belin di Ranger. Hoya ka ofa pana hona ha o le thorizeni le tini. Le rura. Ho thusetsa hore na ha ya rona e dile hlwekile. Ri la ba ra khothaletsa re le srena re le house hore. Bonyane he ha e be ha nakwa. Se se ni ena ye jwa mbo botshanga ho. Ho hirwa batho. Ha ke etsa mohlala ho itse hona le tona la ka le hlompe ya mona e ke le ratang la la education e tse ke mampudi khone ho na le ba sebeletsi ba ha ba dikolo ba bitsang ga di get take am mongaka ha ba ya bang ka modula fatse di pension di khotsena di sa kwa o ya ipotsa gore thipa ye ka hara dikolo tsena e ba ba le yena e bin le di clinic go ne go na le ba sireletsi ya lo ka masecurity ha ba ya hona ke di di ba ke ntse tshwanang tse so ila na ha ba le di tshenyo tse ni clinic so ila na ha ba le di tshenyo tse ni kolo ho ho yetsa halang ka batho ba no thwenge di get taker ha mo thaila a a qeta nako a e be se se ha ho sa kenya motho na ke go bane re ipotsa dipotso tse ne re le marena go bane tshinya e ntse e tswela pele e se jolo ka ha morena ne wa hlalositse mona dikolo tsa rona mongadi mampudi se ngata tse ne di dile ntle ke masupi ka je e bile ho ntso ho ralwa go dikwalwe tse di ka ku tlisiso ya ho re bana ba ya shota ba tsa re ipotsa dipotso ha di sa hlokomele ko re ntso ho yetsiwa nthotse tshwanane tse o molebe na ke tle ntle nyanye o mhlompe speaker re na le di e mahale mare mm re le mare di e mahale ke history ke lo ka re na le di tshaba tse hlano ka hara free start nana sa botshelela se a tla hona ke 
eli makwekhu di chavatsena tse hlano di na le mietro ya tso ka pa le mikitjana ya tso e di yetsang ka nako e itse hanga ka o duetsang tshombe swika hore ho matona a ila a ba teng mc ke ya le mong fela nke ke ka mo bitsa ka le bitsa moya wa ho robala ka khotsa ene re ha o na le mikitiena ya khwediena e amang se chaba se o nang sa chelete a re chelete ke yena tsamang le o etsa mokete wa lona wa bochaba ba lo di felletse fela ditabatse ho tla etsa hala ha e ba ho khona ha ha e ba mmuso o ithaopile etsa tla ga e batlang di ntho ka o fela go ina re tla pata ga ipotsa potso e le nngwe e etsa hala na ka harantsa bore ha hona ha so sebetse yo jwalo ho tle report e re le sebeditse chelete e kana ka mokete wa lo ka le baka la gore ge ya etse etsa re tseba ho etsa mokete ya rona ho tla ba ditente tse golo tse kana re sa tse gona ke bokae kana go re etsa mokete wa botshaba ene go na re ja motho ho dipabi nama go ha ha ga ji di dinthotsena ha re etsa mokete wa botshaba re batla di jo e betsa botshaba e se di catering e re sa tse bong go di tsa ditshelete tse ka ha ho na report e tla tla go re ntse catering e bi ditse bokana re he rile tente e kgolo e fetang holo yena e ntse bokae ha ho na report as a tsi jolo ka housing re e go tlofela so thu ha e budget ya lona e fetse ha re tse e bogo e ne le bokae ka pa ho ya tshuwa ha le na le le han le 10 million ya budget ka mra 5 months e fetse re ntse e nka yo ha ona report e tla mo re re ntse e nka nyo e ta ba yena di fika mhlombe speaker re etsa go eletsi hle mmuso wa go ina o ila wa wa buwa le ba se ba le siyo ka hara lona hore di ema hale tsa marena ha di ntlafatswe ke bothori hore di sireletse ke le fapa la mong ha di mampudi le ne le ikarabella go rebele le ma security di nyom tsena tsa di ema hale ene hona le di ema hale entse re hloka hore di entla fa go thuse di entla fa muso o ila wa ga tshepisa e bile o ba le ile ditona le hlompe ya mona le tsebile go tla e bua taba ena ga ba ga ha ba ha me tsa mongwe gore just to fence afela go bana ba ba ithaopi ba ila ba selokisa se 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 hara swane le sona tshika sa morena re ha ha se sona fela ge ntse re hloka ha pe hore ka mola ka ka frede mo ba tlokwa ba ila ba tlo wa teng ge ntse re hloka go e ntlafatswa mo ba tlokwa ba ila ba dula 100 yes mo hona le mabitla le everything enze re ke tsubaka e re na le takatso gore ha re sebetsa hantle muso o go thusa re ananela le re sebetsa mmo ke dibaka tse ka mafapa a lona ho re dibaka tse tshwanang tse e bin le marena a manka o fela a di chaba tsena tse bana le dia mahale tsa bona lo e go tlisisang hantle re le ntlo go ya hloka hala go ditaba tse tshwanang le tseno ha di petha hale e ska ba di tshepiso fela ne ke tiene ke buang ka yona ha ke re ne re re qeteletse re se go bua ka heritage mokete wa heritage ya hlwa ena ya rona ena ene heritage yeo ha e tsama e se ke marena ha reng ke le karolo mo re le marena empa ho ke mokete wa botshaba re ipotsa dipotso tse re ikaraba go jwa le ha o thua ke mokete wa botshaba empa re ba ba memuwa e be di taba tse di tsama ya hantle na ke nana ka kopana mhlompe em eh ye na ye ke ntsa tsebe ke taba ya bohlokwa gore ha go tsoseletse kopana di tlhoko di ngata ntlo ya borena e teng ka ho ema le mmuso 
ka dikeletso mo gonahalang go re ditabatsa go nya ditseditswele pele molemo wa di chaba re dieteletse mpile mmuso wa gona o tlo o tlotlo ke ditchaba e ba dieteletse mpile ge sebetsa mmo ho re tshagane ka matso go re ditabatsena e mtsamaisa mosetse o buile mona re ke ke pale ya ho re go be le kopano e tsi ha se ka ba ya qetelo go hlomphile e tla ba tlotla ho rona hore e be ditabatsena tse bo uweng ke ba sebetsi mmo ho mona e re lang ka tsone di ngotse fatshe hore le be mba rona ba si yo mona tse a mambona ba re bitse ba re ne le reng ha re le mahala ga di nyela go mabaka a mangata re ke be ga kopana ka makoleng re le Kaskarare, that in Angisa Tabonaki, give out to a caravan Langue. He caravella Holonaka of Felum from the any speaker Rele Marin. A recavella belle look. Huya came sebeti, live we am only my bagger, a recopayang, Rele Muso. A giboni human of Neka Kavu San Bonaki. Ke ya ma mona ka go khutswa ke motelele nkana ka bua ditabatseng e mpakala ba ka la mako e le ha ga ke di otla mohatla wa go itie be mbaka re le bile ha go lo ntateng ngwe re itimela we will invite the honorable s smith to come forward uh, to present a token of appreciation uh, to Morena Mulefe. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> you. Thank you. Wonderful. Without any further ado, I am now going to invite the Honorable, the MEC responsible for Kokta in this province, uh, Honorable S.T. Nangisa, to come and uh, make his intervention. Let's give him a warm welcome. was an avalanche of uh, expressions uh, which I might not uh, sufficiently cover immediately. But there's a team here from COCTA and the secretary from the House of uh, Traditional Leaders in the province uh, who have, would have consolidated those issues. And Bulele, a Babumki, whom seven zoom shenon P two Kilebo, both Patlin Quano Copanunina, Impacta Calafella, or a Mesanella level, or Copa a meeting of its kind, Babumki was at its history in the making. Relebo, he was at a mile in the Devos Chavalala. Chief Whip Legislature of Free State from the majority party as well. Mama uh, Nasanze Ainza Apology, Mweta Pilwaruna, Mezanele Sifu. I wish you to recognize Babum Kiva, the Speaker of the Legislature in the Free State. It's a woman. The Premier of the Free State, it's a woman. The Chairperson of House of Traditional Leaders in the Free State, it's a woman you would understand why the Free State has suddenly stabilized and focused in ensuring that it attends to issues of uh, service delivery and improving human lives. Mr. Uh, Bulwani, uh, Honorable Bulwani, uh, 
member of the executive council, uh, Osmond Tseng Tsiu, also member of the executive council, Mampudi, uh, Honorable Mr. Tate Mahwe. It's the birthday of his wife today. So he's strong, he's all over, but uh, the pillar of his family is on today is celebrating a important day. Home Ivy. Happy birthday to Mema. Mesara, Mewaga, Ntatel Tuka from the DA. Ntatema Jaki just left. I'm sure he's outside, but I'm also greeting them. I'm, I'm doing this deliberately because this is the house that the participation is a multi party kind of uh, participation. But <clears throat> clearly, I must send my regards to Mr. Muholo Wabakwena in absentia, Mr. Muholo Mupedi, and Mr. Muholo Wabato Wabamota, that Mr. Montuidi, Rasonolo Fezi, Remototo Remat, Kabutemba Haukamana. Kilebuwe marena wote anto kilebuwe mudula stulo marona me mamoroka me mufumahati kani tere mutoto remata ubaku panonyena me wote baso kani chompo marena akakuano le mufumahati akakuano bu absenting bahai salga ni itami ubakuano merutoto mla itowa kupo ya bona mele ntate wa human rights ntate mudis rele bo a holo ha o ile kwano ha o sa re huledi magotlenga dinyeo fela empa o ba karolo ya gore re bona re bopa jwa mo khatlona ladies and gentlemen honorable speaker uh, as the provincial administration we will continue to meet with traditional leaders as we have always been doing and we have already started to engage with this inaugural provincial legislature dialogue, one of its kind. We need to find each other and ensure that all leaders within our communities play their roles to advance democracy. That was a hard end and many have lost their lives towards it. It is critically important to consult and involve provincial house of traditional leaders whenever government departments or any other stakeholders intends to deal with issues affecting traditional leadership in the province. We have shown this stride through the district development model programs and through the disaster programs we have, we have undertaken with a participation throughout of all stakeholders and importantly of the traditional leadership. It was through the forces, the honorable speaker, the institution of traditional leadership has been in existence on the whole continent of Africa from, the, from time immemorial. The African people knew no other form of government. It was through the forces of colonialism, imperialism, and apartheid that the institution of traditional leadership was eroded and undermined. However, the current government, democratic government, led by the African National Congress, will continue to work tirelessly to restore the dignity and respect that traditional leadership deserves in our communities. In this journey, honorable speaker, traditional leadership, our, our request would be, cannot be neutral about issues affecting our communities. And already in some of the side programs we have engaged around gender-based violence, around fighting poverty, which they were alluded earlier on, in supporting school children's with uh, shoes and clothes and food, 
This effort has been done jointly with some of the traditional houses, including to alleviate the problem of water shortages. Some traditional leaders have installed boreholes on their own, jointly working with government. So what is it that we require for traditional leaders to play in advancing democracy? Our view is that for traditional leaders to function effectively, it is important as leaders in our respective portfolios, and in this instance, it includes all government portfolios, in the province, national and local, and every one of us coming together and Fortunately, in our case, the district development model offers us that, 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 that platform. We need to set aside resources and allocate them to departments and stakeholders. We need to set aside uh, resources and allocate them to institution of traditional leaders. It cannot be COCTA alone, and the latter speaker did emphasize that. All sector departments and other stakeholders are needed to ensure that traditional leaders play a meaningful role in the society. Honorable Speaker, Chapter 5 of the Traditional Leadership and Government Framework Amendment Act of 2019 outlines how the provincial government in particular can allocate roles to traditional leadership in respect of, amongst other issues, arts and culture, land administration, agriculture, welfare, economic development, tourism and education. It is therefore critical to develop mechanisms as a province to ensure that traditional leaders are allocated roles to actively participate in all sectors in the province. Such, a, such an approach will address a number of challenges facing communities, among others, unemployment, poverty, crime, and decaying moral fiber in our society, with the revival of Ubuntu Boto, which is central in the development of African people. Such an approach, honorable speaker, will keep tension between traditional leaders and what councillors in land use and administration. I wish to express this view that we have linked municipalities with the full participation of traditional leaders where they exist, so that their voice is heard even though they don't have voting rights. This is aimed at amicably finding a way of uh, processing issues of development within and among communities. Honorable Speaker, I stated in my budget vote speech, the land for Batokwa Bamokhalong will be procured before the end of this financial year. The department is in the process of engaging public works uh, and infrastructure department to find suitable office accommodation for provincial and local houses of traditional leaders. And the picture that was painted earlier on, it is true that that process has not been handled maturely or prudently. And we are changing that as part of our budget speech. The renovation of Sifika Sabato Kwaba Mota is a matter that will require my department to deal with in partnership with Maluti Apofu Municipality and Department of Sports, Arts, and Culture and Recreation. I know work has started to that process already. The department will consult with the Department of Police, Roads, and Transport, and Department of Human Settlement regarding government garage vehicles. Our department is not in control directly with the government garage vehicles. We will, however, liaise with the relevant department to ensure that vehicles allocated to traditional leaders and we will have to resuscitate the PHP houses model respectively. Traditional leaders, honorable speaker, 
should still remember that COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll of all of our efforts. We had to readjust, rebudget, and to a large extent forego certain huge amounts of money planned for certain progress, and they had to be on hold as a result of that. I would like to thank the Institution of Traditional Leadership in conveying jointly with COCTA and various municipalities COVID-19 awareness messages through various platforms, radio, television, social and print media. And in some instances, they had to go and address small communities to adhere to the protocols for their safety and saving lives. As I conclude, Honorable Speaker, it will be important for this collective to develop a program of action in addressing all issues raised by traditional leaders, and we will champion that program as custodian of traditional leadership in the Free State Province. Thank you. Okay, let me invite Mayor Morocco uh, to, together with the speaker, uh, to come and present the gift to the MEC, the token of appreciation. Speaker, can you join us in the front, please? The reason why we're doing it this way is because the two presiding officers are the focal point of the work that we are doing today. And they are presenting this MEC because the MEC in the middle has to go back to ensure that he implements everything that we have spoken about here today. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> so MEC, you have a mammoth task. And fortunately, as a province, you are doing very well. And I don't want you Mahoshi, to be very hard on yourselves. This province is doing extremely very well. What is needed is to improve from where you are so that you, re you remain the benchmark for the whole country. And all the issues that you have raised here today, I think they, they are doable and they are implementable as long as the planning exercise takes into account all the matters that we have raised. From planning, from inception, the MEC's office and his department must ensure that all these matters that we have raised are actually mainstreamed in the planning of COCTA. Now, we're supposed to have discussions, but I've listened to the presentations. These presentations are well thought through presentations, and no leader has repeated another leader here. It was only a mere issue of points of emphasis. But all the six presentations plus one by Memo Roca and another one by Morena Emuhulu Mota, all the eight presentations encompass all the critical and strategic issues that needs to be attended to. And what we want to do, as the speaker has said in her opening remarks, is that when we come back here next year, we need to take stock to say, is there any matter that has not been addressed in the previous financial year as we begin the new one? So that we can begin to tick the boxes and say, out of 10 issues we have raised, five or six of them have been tackled, and only four that remains. And what is the commitment from the MEC of COCTA to deal with those in 2021? That's the kind of picture that we require, because in that way, you are able to make a careful assessment of what we have done out of this uh, uh, very important meeting. So that going forward, we can then deal with other matters that we have not raised here, which are also important. Because I believe today you have brought into the agenda the most pressing issues that you want uh, the, the, the government of, the East, uh, of, of this province to deal with. And I think we will then improve uh, you know, going forward. And I think it has been a very progressive uh, 
engagement. But I, I wouldn't want to dictate, Speaker, if there is anybody in the room who think that there is any important issue that is so strategic that uh, that person thinks that it needs to be erased at this point, I would want to give that opportunity to that particular uh, colleague in the room. Anyone? Is there any matter that has not been raised that is so important that it deserves to be raised on this? This is not the end of this exercise, but the beginning of what we will do year to year. Do you have an issue, sir, that you want to raise? Can you, can you take the mic to the honorable member there? And if you can just limit uh, your, your, your comment, your comment uh, into the issue that you are raising without greeting, um, uh, zoom in and limit it into a minute or so. Kineki la kana na ormo mo re tla fuwa sa ga sa re re ke re fa pantsane dikelelo le maikutlo le marena rona a teng ha holo holo ne ke ratile hore re utlusitse taba ke yena rona yo le ka sechaba re sechaba sa maobane ke khale re le teng me ha ile hore re amohela jwa lo re ke khale re le teng re na le Let's say a carrizan tama is so yasi chava or na. Hunt and just chava stama is so yua. Haun and to incha, me fell a whole chaila yaba. How we ta me hua emi chaya weeds are in to. Yavan in Kimori is ampozo ya hola yologabatu. Ra yavar livala sail in Zarunari di Vella Gatugo, Rehashwa Gizeri, Chesur Huna lepozo is a yua. Impa mogi and dingimu. Nerika me ile hore ibe brena ba rona le ditsamaiso tsa rona le tsona di ila tsa khema le dinako tsa kinyeletswa dipage mona ya re ha re ntse re ya pele re le sechaba re ye pele le bona ba ntsa ba le teng e se ka ya ka jwa le tsa tsing le na ha re lutsi mona re bua ka ntho e ntsha ke khale re le teng fela tabane ha ella fela ne le tlompo ya boemo bo ba tsamaiso e leng ba marena a ro ibe ni le ona kinyeleditswe ibe re ntse re buisana ha ntle Thank you very much. Let's give him a big round of applause for that intervention. It's, it's very important that we, we give him that opportunity. And I believe, of course, that he, he might be representing the opposition party here, uh, which is okay. And uh, every contribution is very important. And the matter that he is raising, I think it will be well considered because we're talking about... Uh, uh, the mainstreaming of our heritage and uh, going back to our roots in terms of how we conduct ourselves in a number of aspects of our lives. How the speaker spoke about decolonization, amongst other things. And perhaps the item that uh, he is raising talks to that in one way or the other. Um, speaker, allow me to re-invite you to the podium if you might have something to say again. Uh, I give you that opportunity because this event has been hosted at your behest, and uh, we really appreciate your benevolence in this regard. And uh, I will take this as well back to the Congress of Traditional Leaders of South Africa and tell them what I've seen here and what I've heard here, and we make it part and parcel of lessons that we are drawing from the good leadership of this province. Over to you. Okay. Um Thank you. Uh, thank you, Program Director. Uh, we, we, we are pressed uh, uh, in terms of, 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 of time. We, as the legislature briefly, our constitution uh, makes provisions for three arms of the state. The first arm that will come across is parliament.
let me, let me put it like this. The three arms of the state that we find in our constitution. We have parliament, that will be the level of national and provincial legislatures in different provinces. And for each level, you then have the executive and then we have judiciary. And the constitution is very clear in terms of mandate of each of these three arms of the state distinct but interdependent. As the legislature are the ones who work closely with the executive, but the legislature is not responsible for service delivery. The mandate given to parliament or the legislature is that of one, lawmaking, that of providing oversight over the executive, and that of public participation and education. It therefore becomes our responsibility as the legislator to be able to extend that public participation and education through creating platforms for dialogue and debates. Because it is through this dialogue and debates that we are able to say executive, as public representatives, as a legislator, this is what the people are saying. This is what the people want you to do. So, it can never stop, uh, we, can ne we can never stop these conversations and dialogue as the legislature because they are the ones that inform the actions and response of the executive. They are the ones who inform, that inform the policy making process and, 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 and the legislations. So I am trying to say in the province, you are correct, program director, it is the first time we have a platform of this nature. If it was there before, it means that it was created by the executive for that particular purpose. We have created this a platform working together with the MEC to say we need to hear what the traditional leaders are saying and how can we assist one another where there are mistakes that have uh, 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 taken place, how is the executive going to uh, 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 correct them? On our part as the legislature, like the MEC for COCTA has stood here and say, there are things that are already unfolding and there are plans that they have as the department. Our responsibility as the legislature is to provide oversight over those issues. We have created this year, program director, uh, 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 again, it's the committee that has not been there for all these years, the Committee on Government Assurances. That committee, wherever government makes assurances to public, the responsibility of that committee is to sit down and be able to say, what did this department say to the people? and then be able to go back to that department to say, this is what you said you were going to do in this financial year. How far are you? When should we expect the completion of that project? That is our responsibility. That is our core mandate as the legislator. And we want to promise these traditional leaders that we are going to do exactly that. We were sitting there agreeing to say, but how do we then take this process forward? Out of uh, this platform, many issues have been raised. Uh, I was saying, you know, it, was, it is more like we were in a petitions kind of a, of a platform, but it's fine, it's good. It's good that we know that there are things that are not sitting well with you, things that are happening that are not occurring well with you. So our responsibility, we must go back to say, here are the issues that have been raised. The MEC has also lifted them, and then to say, how do we then maneuver moving forward? There is nothing wrong for the department where it is unable to deliver a particular uh, uh, um, uh, 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 expectation, to be able to go back to the people to say, this one we are unable to do because of one, two, three. But we must stand here and make a commitment, and we have a responsibility to be able uh, 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 to hold uh, 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 that commitment and be able to report that to the people. And, and we are not saying everything is going to happen uh, 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 as, uh, 
at the speed that we want. The Honorable MEC has just highlighted issues of COVID-19 that we don't know what do they bring us economically as the country. But what is important is that we must communicate. We will always create this dialogue as the legislature responsible for public dialogue, uh, uh, for, for opening a space for public dialogue to make sure that we involve people uh, uh, on the ground. And we are also interested in promoting social cohesion within our society. If we can begin to do that, I think we are in the right track. We are going to continue, but next year when we meet again, it's very critical that we bring a progress report of, on all the things that have been delivered here and what has been done, what could not be done because of whatever challenges that might have been there. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to rush through program director. Uh, 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 I'm, not going, I'm not going to go into detail into everything that has been raised, but we have captured them and we are going to uh, uh, refine them and be able to sit down with the MEC uh, uh, to say we are going to start here moving forward, performing oversight over yourselves as the, as the, as the, as the executive in ensuring that uh, those things are delivered where possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Speaker. Well said and well captured. Um, let me just acknowledge uh, the two local municipalities that we have in the province. We spoke about them briefly. That's the Tabo Mafutsanyana Local House of Traditional Leaders, as well as the Mangaung Local House of Traditional Leaders. The chairperson of the Tabo Mafutsanyana Local House of Traditional Leaders is Morena Napo Mupeli, and the deputy chairperson is uh, Muha, uh, is, is Meklara Ramaili. And the post of chairperson and deputy chairperson at the Mangaung Local House of Traditional Leaders is vacant. Uh, so we acknowledge uh, these houses, they exist in this province and uh, we acknowledge the presence of the leaders that are here with us today. Um, the other announcement that I need to make is that of, um, that all of us in the room we will receive the legislature jackets as a gift. Uh, so everyone must make sure that he gets uh, his uh, or her own jacket. And I see that the officials of the legislature have started uh, distributing those. We're now going to have a vote of thanks, and the vote of thanks will be delivered by a gentleman that I met 28 years ago at the University of Western Cape. We were together at university as students. Uh, he was one of our leaders from the student politics, and I'm happy today that uh, he is part of the leadership of this province, and that's none other than the Honorable William Bulwane. And, uh, he is now the MEC responsible for, amongst others, agriculture in this province. Let's give him a warm welcome as he's coming to deliver a vote of thanks. And um, I want to apologize that uh, my flight is due now. And uh, when the MEC is uh, finished, I will ask Ndate uh, Mutsamai Mukwena to come forward so that he can introduce the last item of the prayer to close uh, formally the proceedings. It's been nice to be with you, and I hope that we will continue interacting, but I'm taking away to my home and to the provinces as I work with all of them in my capacity as the Secretary General of the Congress of Traditional Leaders that I have seen a very good case study in this province. Over to you, MEC. Hakelebwe Mutama Shom Sebeti and the Tesolani Kim Toka Mutsavanga Holo Rea Fonella and a low Fonella. So to me, I came over and I get a I was very happy, my brother, to see you. And every time I see you, I become happy. Mutama Shom Sebeti and the Tesolani Kiva. 
motsamaisi wa dipuisano le khotlela ke tswa melao mezanela sifuba tona kholo ya province ya Freista ta busiomba haya marana ama holo le maranana le botla ba ikarabellang ntlonya borana ka pantonya marana matona a tenkwano le dithotsa le khotla ke tswa melao ba hlompe bohle ba memilwe nkwano ba sebetse ba le khotla le tswa ke tswa melao bo mmelo bo ntate mo sebetse kwa ke o bonolo ka jeno mo sebetse ona ona o tshwanetse yentswe ke se phadi se seholo ntate shabalala mpa ula tla me ora a tsamaya o bane o ne a fumane molaetsa wa hore a usiwa hae wa kula ha monate a tla me ora mathele hae a khutele ka le hae ka qoqo ka monana re re ho a usiwa hae ha a fole le bohle ba kulang ha ba fole ke rata ho le bo a bohle ba ntse le tsatsile na hore le a tlehe lo re mosebetse ona o be motle hakanana ke rata re ke a le leboa ka boikitletso ba lona ke leboe motsamaiso wa mosebetse bo ya tapel ba se politiki bo ya teletswe mpelo ke motsamaiso wa dipuisano le khotlela ke tsa molao marana o hle le maranana go se khadi le dikhosi bo hle ba memile nkwano ba sebetse ba le khotla bo ma ditaba le bo ra ditaba ke rata hore ke rata hore holona ke a le boha ka bo ikgathatso le bo ikitlatso ba lona gore le tsa mosebetse ona na o atlae ke rata ho le le boa ke rata hore se le se ntseng ka jeno le se ke la khathala re a tseba hore maemo a re phelang ka tla sona ke maemo a selenga le mabe a holo ke ka ho ka dinako tsohle re rulang re kentse di smong kwana hore kokwane na ska ba re kena a ke tsebe ka se khwabitswa e ke tseba ka se nyesimane fela ba re ke personal protective equipment ppe ne ke ba tla ka Afrikaans mara ka se sutho e ke smong kwana se kwala molomo le dingko so le matla ma ya mar kopane ka tla sa ona go ba le se se the go ba thora re nri lo kopanang go ba na re tse bo romang ke mammo empa bo ikitletso ba lona langa risk ya hore le tle kwano la be a maphela lona tsietseng ho re tlo tsa bonnet ba hore sena se le khotlala ke tswa molao le re bitse tension se a phethala mele na ke dutsimane ke nentse ke ngola ngola go na le tseo le dibuileng ha ke ntse ke bua le ntateng ngangisa ke tabua le re khutle ba re ka rural development khutle ba re ka agriculture ka tsa temo re tla di shebisana mmoho ke tla khutela ho yena mara di tsebetsa ka dutlile sello sa lona ka mantswa ka rata hore ha ke le bowe motsamaiso wa mosebetsi mosebetsi wa ka no le bonolo futa mosebetsi ke leng ka ifua muso mona ke a le bowa le bile misi le nna mosebetsi wa ka go bonolo fela go bitsa sebuisile se me re kwa le mosebetsi ka hona ke tla bitsa ntate Hendrik Mini go tla re kwa la mosebetsi ka thapelo ntate Mini
that the Miniki or Atla Batuadi. Mr. Mini, you'll also be praying for the food that is going to be served as we proceed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ki Kupari, Kwale Masho, Honari Lebe Mudimu, Kali Tati Lena Lese Baka Sena Rifi Lengso. Mudimu Nta Terea Lewa Le Tati Lena, Ki Kamo Hao, Lelo Ratola Hao, Ure Kopan Zen Mona Mudimu Arona. Father, we came together because and it's the first time in the history of the Free State Province that we could gather with traditional leaders of our province under one roof to discuss and have a dialogue and to engage one another. We thank you, O oh God, for the humble servants of kings and queens and princes and princesses, as well as headmen and head women that we have in this province. We thank you, O oh God, that you're gonna bless them, you're gonna protect them, and you're gonna take care of them for the rest of your, their lives. We thank you for our leadership of the legislature, the executive authority, who's represented here by our honorable speaker. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for the members present as well as the MECs and all support staff and those who made presentations. We pray that wherever they go, as they are going to leave this place, that Psalm 91 and Psalm 23 will exist in their cars. And we also thank you that you are going to bless the food that we are going to receive now. We pray that it will be a healing unto our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the hands that have prepared those foods. We ask it, Father God, right now, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.